All right. Can we go live here? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got right things. Okay, can I go on? Live video was starting. I'm live on here. My face is stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay. Live watching now. Now you are live. Okay. How is that, honey? How am I doing? I can move this. Live on YouTube. All right. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Happy Thursday, YouTube. And we have another system going at the moment. Happy uh, Thursday. Happy fire nights uh, to everyone. All right. Um, glad we are doing well. Hey, Amen. Let's give a little time for, um, give a little time for everyone to get in. All right, because we're gonna we're gonna work in the spirit tonight. Amen. All right. Hope well, everyone is having a spectacular day. Amen. Woo. Oh, what's up, Aaron? Good afternoon. A good evening to you, sir. <laughs> good evening, Aaron. Hope you had a powerful day today. Yes, hope you had a powerful day today. Okay. Um, honey. Um, is Facebook up? Okay. That says in test broadcast. Why does it say that? And there's no one here. Let's go back out and go back in. All right, you two. We're gonna we're gonna work this thing at night. Uh, I know it's gonna be a good night because the devil is trying to shut this thing. I'll cause a little disruption, but we're not gonna let it. Amen. We're going to keep keep rolling. So bear with us for a moment. I believe there is a word of the Lord for uh, everyone tonight. We are going to work in the spirit, and we have some very powerful things to say. Uh, if you're on YouTube tonight, um, uh, stay tuned because I feel uh, I feel God wants to speak to the YouTube family on tonight. So. If you're watching, share with your friends, share with um, everybody um, that you know to share it with, because it's going to be grand tonight. Amen. We're going to we're going to go deeper in the things of God. Amen. And I know I'm looking down a lot. Of, my beautiful wife has helped me get this thing up and rolling. It was just working, but now it wants to. Uh, it wants to be difficult, but it's all right. The devil is a liar. Amen. Let's see here. Amen. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Hey, 
uh, uh, Isabella, hey, how you doing? Good evening to you. Uh, if you're on Face, not Facebook, if you're on, if you are on um, YouTube, let us know where you're chiming in from as we um, get ready to get started. I hate being late, uh, but it's the devil trying to uh, shut us down and cause disruption, but we, we're not going to let it. Amen. We're going to keep on rolling because that's what we do. Amen. So we're going to get rolling here. And um, like I said last week, we are excited about um, what God has for us. Amen. And has for you. Amen. Even, even on tonight, as we prepare ourselves to go deeper in the, in the part two, uh, last week, we talked about moving on to move forward. And that was the first part. Amen. And we had a good time last week. We had a lot of people um, who were encouraged, were excited uh, about the, um, the things that we were talking about. Um, and we are, we are glad that you were encouraged. Yes, we are doing great. Thank you, Isabella. Baby is growing and the baby is, is doing everything <laughs> from flipping to backflips uh, to doing everything. She is ready to make a mark on the world. Amen. And we are anticipating her uh, healthy arrival, her prosperous arrival um, at the turn of the new year. So we're, we're excited about her arrival. We're excited about you guys. Amen. We're excited about where God is taking this particular platform this particular ministry and those who support us. Um, like I said, we, my wife and I last, I don't know, three, three or four weeks have had uh, some powerful impartation from um, just a lot of uh, reliable uh, sources, great men and women of God. We, we are, we are excited about the future and we'll get into those details. Hey, Miss Kim, we'll get into those details at the appropriate time, um, but we're excited. We are having our first in-person service on September the 25th. So if you are in the surrounding area, even if you're in virtual world, we're going to have our virtual platform up and running. Amen. So that's not going to stop. Uh, but we will be in person on Sundays. And we are definitely looking forward to that. And I want to put a disclaimer out there that if you're coming from church as usual, um, that's not what we're going to have. It's going to be God's glory inside. It's going to be God's power, God's uh, prophetic word. We talk about miracle signs, wonders, and mighty deeds are going to be the norm. Amen. So we are looking forward and we're looking forward to um, uh, what God has to show the world because, you know, God loves people. Amen. And that's, I know that is a oxymoron nowadays, but God actually loves people. Amen. He He shows love even on tonight. As I was getting myself in a, a right posture spiritually, I felt a heavy um, uh, presence of God upon upon me while I was uh, doing my usual thing when I when I do get um, get ready to do something like this. So I know God is going to uh, show himself strong on tonight. Amen. And um, I just want to give God honor and praise, amen, for his name and his love and his doing, okay? Amen. And so if you see me uh, on tonight looking straight ahead, not looking at you, Facebook, I'm working two cameras. Uh, if you have a YouTube link, you'll be on the right side, your left, <laughs> and left side of Facebook, you're right. Amen. So I'm working two angles because God wants to talk to his people on tonight. Amen. And I thank God for his provision. Um, Miss Gordine, God bless you. Thank you for your kindness and uh, for everything you um, say to my wife and I and, and your support to our ministry. Thank you so much. Amen. And I just want to tell you before I get started, um, I don't know what January, Miss Gordine, Mom Gordine, um, what January means to you, what significance of the month of January is for you. Um, but I, I'm in the room of the spirit. I know I usually just start teaching first, um, but um, I feel God pulling me this way. Um, I, but in the room of the spirit, I see God in January, almost like I see a chessboard and I see God putting some things in place for you and your family um, because the devil came like a mighty wind and knocked things out of place. Not that you did anything wrong or it's just the, uh, the sneak sabotage attack of the devil. And I don't know what January means to you, amen, but January is going to be a, a miraculous new beginning for you and your family, Miss Gordine. 
and pops. I'm talking about things that you have prayed for that you thought God had forgotten about. Um, God is now taking me back to three years ago. You were asking God specifically what some things you wanted God to do pertaining to your family, pertaining to your future. And now God is saying, tell the woman of God in January, he's going to move the pieces back in place. That's what I just heard God say, move the pieces back in place. So prepare yourself, Miss Gordine, because January 2023 is going to be a great year. My God in heaven, uh, not only a great start to the year, but it's going to be a great year of celebration for you and your family. Amen. So I thank God for your life. And I thank God for what God's doing for you. So stay encouraged. I know I see the enemy try to uh, almost like circle around and cause disruption in certain places and, and certain attacks. But God is saying he's taking me. My God, I'm in the spirit room now and I haven't started teaching yet. But I see God um, not only celebrating you in the month of January, like I said, I don't know what that means to you, um, but I know it means something to you, amen, because God wouldn't tell me that if it didn't mean something to you. But not only is he going to celebrate you, um, there is going to be um, almost like good news, a celebration, but there is specific good news coming to you. Prepare for a family expansion come January. That's why I hear the Lord say, prepare for a family expansion. January is going to be a month of celebration, but also family expansion. Amen. So God bless you, Miss Gordine. Let me let me get to teaching this thing because I know uh, we are here on tonight to hear this part two um, of this word. But God bless you, Miss Gordine. Um, you have tapped into something that few tap into because you you move by faith and you sow the seed. And because of that seed, Oh, I hear you, God. Um, the woman of God shall receive the prophet's reward. Amen. So God bless you, Mr. Gordine. You didn't, you didn't pay for an award. It's when God responds to faith. Amen. And when God gives an instruction to people, sometimes you think it's a, sometimes giving can be a spontaneous thought, God talking to you. You could be frying chicken and all of a sudden a thought comes, sow this into this man of God, sow that into that ministry. And if you move with God, because spontaneous thoughts is God talking all the time. Amen. So you have to pay attention to certain things like that in your life. And because Miss Gordon, you obey God, God says, tell her January. I can't wait to hear your testimony. But January is going to be a great time of celebration for you. All right. Amen. God bless you, ma'am. And um, please keep me informed um, of, of, of that celebration. Amen. So God bless you. Uh, listen, let's give, let's give rolling. Lord, we thank you for your word on tonight. Show your people, God. You love your people. You always love all of us, God, in the name of Jesus. Show yourself strong and mighty in the life and of your people. I get out the way so you can take over my vocal cords and talk, think to my mind and speak to my heart and out of my mouth to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, Jeremiah Let's jump right into this. Amen. Jeremiah um, chapter one, verse five is a very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. That we, that we, I don't know how to keep this thing, honey. Um, there we go. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> it was going back. Uh, Jeremiah chapter one, verse five is a very uh, familiar passage of scripture. And I'm going to read it for those who have never seen it before. Um, but once I start reading, it'll uh, bring something back to your hearing. And here it comes out of the New King James Version. And it says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Tonight's word is uh, moving on to move forward part two, uh, wasted and lost time to time redeem. Here is God telling the man of God, and this applies to you and I today, amen, that God is saying that before he formed us in our mother, you know, you and I were inside our mother at some point, amen, we weren't in a test tube, we weren't in a cow, we was in our own mothers, amen, and God is saying, listen, before I formed you, in your mother's womb, I knew you. So that lets me know, and that lets us know as a corporate body, amen, tonight, 
that God knew you and I. It wasn't just a thought. Say, God, okay, I knew the God. You know, like I know my wife. I know her, amen. I talk to her. Uh, I hold her hand. I've known her since 1993, 94, 92, somewhere around that area. I know her, amen. And God is saying, before I formed you, I knew you. And God is saying, not by thought form, because he thought about you, and then he formed you inside your mother's womb. But before all that happened, God knew us. And if you can picture in the theater of your mind, the full-grown you was talking to God before you became a cell, a sperm, and an egg, and started doing the process of nine months. Amen. So God is saying, in your full capacity, I knew you. My God in heaven. And before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew about you. I knew you. That means that God had a conversation with you and I. Amen. And this is God telling the prophet this. My God in heaven. And I ordained you a prophet to the nations. So my thing on tonight, and that's the foundation. We got some other places to go on tonight. But my thing is tonight is sometimes we can waste time, lose time on dead things. But it does not negate the fact that God said that he knew us before he formed us in our full capacity. God wasn't talking to the baby. My God in heaven, he wasn't talking to a baby, uh, saying, talk, hey, I danged you, Google Gaga, giving him some milk in a bottle. No, Jeremiah was in his full capacity as a man and as a prophet. And God says, hey, I ordained you unto the nations. Don't be looking at their faces, yada, yada, yada. He gave all of these instructions. So you have to take yourself and put yourself in that realm because God knew you and he knew me. Amen. So God has put all this on the inside of us and said, I ordained you to be a prophet. Amen. I ordained you to be an entrepreneur. I ordained you to be a school teacher. I ordained you to do this, that, and the other. This is what God is saying. Amen. At full, we're full grown in the spirit realm. Amen. Before we get to our mother's room. And then he sanctified us. He made us holy. He separated us from the world in the beginning. Amen. All the above. And then we get put into our mother and God takes careful watch on our development development, not only physically, but also spiritually. Amen. And so through life, we go through life and we make um, certain decisions that can kind of set us back a little bit. Amen. God says to us, when we, let's say, let's say God said, and this is nobody in general. Amen. God says, hey, um, that woman over there is not to be your wife. Amen. So don't marry her. But because the lust of the eyes has no power, um, that particular person or man, again, this is nobody in particular. So let's not even have to go there. Amen. That uh, that big booty and a smile has attracted that man. And now he says, I do. And God was all the while trying to stop him from uh, getting into a covenant relation with a woman who's going to turn out to be a Jezebel or trying to be some somebody crazy or going to turn out to break his heart. All the above. Or he tells the woman, don't marry that man. I don't go after that man because in about 10 years, he's going to crack. He's going to be lazy. He's not going to work. He's a little boy. He's still broken. And God is saying all that. But sometimes we take the, uh, the big yellow brick road, the wide road, and it leads to destruction. And so we can spend 10 20, 30 years is something dead. My God in heaven. My God out of heaven. All my all the above. <laughs> that was good, honey. Amen. I, I'll, I'll take, a, I'll take a, a point on that one. Amen. We can spend all our time uh, with somebody who refuses to change. My God, now why am I using relationships? Because we all in one in some type of relationships. Somebody that refuses to change, refuses to get, get on board with the things of God, and that can waste time, and that can cause discouragement in the heart. And people, and that's the trick of the devil. Remember, he took Jesus to a high mountain, my God, and said, if you will uh, bow down and worship me. He was trying to take Jesus' time away from him. My God, he took him to the top of the pinnacle of the synagogue. That means the top position in the church. And he says, you jump down there and have your angels bear you up. And God is so smart. He's smarter than the devil. He's not going to waste my time. He says, it's, it is written, thou shalt not live our bread alone. It is written. You can read it in your own Bible. Amen. But what was the fight really over? Amen. The fight was over the future. My God. And you can see this and read this in the Bible because there is time associated with the future. My God in heaven. And so the devil can take your time away from you. And then you can begin to waste time on dead things. And then now we get to we're in our 50s and 60s and 70s. 
oh my God, we could be in our 20s and we can see we are we have hit a brick wall and we are going to church, a blizzard of holy hands, singing, dancing, pouring oil, and nothing is happening. And that is the question of the church today. Lord, I danced. Lord, I shouted. Lord, I prayed. But nothing is happening for me. What God have I done to offend you? Has anybody else besides me asked that question in the midst of praise and worship? When I know in my heart I'm going nowhere fast, what am I doing here, God? Have you asked that question, honey? Amen. I've asked that question, and I'm sure others online have asked that question. What am I doing here? My God in heaven, because I feel like I'm wasting time doing nothing. But I come to church on Sunday because it's my custom, but I really don't want to be here, and I'm frustrated. And how long is this guy going to preach or this girl going to preach so I can get over to Sonic and get me a drink, get over to Wendy's, get me a burger, because I don't want to go home because football started at 12 o'clock Eastern. That's the truth, right, honey? Amen. Have you been there? I have. Amen. Yes. And on that note, let me get a little drink. Amen. Of, of America's team. Mm. <sighs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. And so we begin to settle for a time that has been wrestled uh, by the devil. It's the devil's objective to tie up your time. And he does it through dead things things he knows is not prosperous for you. He knows that relationship is not prosperous. Let me, let me, let me break it down uh, to 5,000 feet level, amen? If he is knocking your teeth out, if he is busting your lip up and blackening your eye and you are saying in time he will change because God is good, bam, you are crazy. Can I say that, honey? I said it, amen, I said that, didn't I? I'm going to keep saying it. Amen. Because let me tell you something. That man is not going to change because one, he has a demon on the inside of him being a believer. Or two, he's a believer that has a demon oppressing him to tie your time up and to kill your self-esteem. My God in heaven, that was good. That's for the people in the back. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, what does that mean? How do we tie about time? The devil does it. Amen. He ties it all up to wasted time. So God, his love for people. God, my God in heaven, God and his love for people put something in Joel chapter two, verse 25. He says, I will restore the years that the canker worm, the locust, the caterpillar, all the pillars have ate up from you. And I will restore back to you. But we have to believe that in faith because God has to expedite us to get us where he had originally wanted us to be 20 years ago. And how does God do that? I'm so glad that you asked tonight. I'm so glad you asked, honey. Amen. God see your face over there. My wife wants to know too. So I know I'm, I, am I doing pretty good tonight? Uh, God bless you, honey. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> not, not a performance. This is what God has moved me to. Amen. So what God does is he, he gets you around a real man or woman of God that understands the times my God in heaven, and understands where you need to be as an individual and kind of help you redirect your life to a place of fruitfulness. Now, this happens in various ways, amen. I know as God's prophet and one of his many prophets that when people get around me, um, there are certain people that God says, I want you to bring into the room. Why does he say that to me? Because these people have been identified by God, not only they need something from the Lord, but they have to be redirected, my God, to a place of fruitfulness because perhaps they may have came from a family that is not fruitful. They came from a background that wasn't fruitful. Maybe 300 years ago, maybe somebody in that family was involved with demon worship or occultism, and that put the family on pause. Although we kept having sex, kept having kids, they people kept dying, new people came along, but nobody checked and see that this family is going nowhere. So why is it, Lord, that you said I will have houses I didn't build? You said I will have land I didn't build, but I'm living in a shack and the water's brown. And there's a roach in the corner that keep looking at me because he's hungry. That's not the will of God. Amen. 
That's not the word of God. And God says, I will redeem time. My God. And that's why it's important to honor men, true men and women of God, uh, because they have the, the, the authority to impart something, to move you light years ahead to get you to a place where you need to be. Let me give you a good example. Amen. Who knows? Um, what's his name, honey? Reinhardt. Reinhardt Bunky, right? He's a very famous, um, he's a very famous, well, he's, he, he died in 2019, but he was a very powerful evangelist, almost uh, like, no, he, no, not almost, he was, just like Billy Graham was. Now, you don't hear much about him, but his work field was the continent of Africa. And for 60 some years, he held revivals in Africa, all the above to re revolutionize a continent that was riddled with devil worship. My God in heaven. Now, why do I bring that up? I'm about to tell you, amen. I'm about to tell you, listen, this man, when he was 20 years old, he studied in England, okay? And when he was about to come back home to the United States, um, he decided, well, well, first off, his plane was delayed for whatever reason, amen? But it was, so he decided to take one of those big the big buses, I don't know, tour buses you can take around. I mean, you see them in New York. If you've been in New York, you've seen the little, the little big D bus. You can, you can hop on for $10 and uh, you, can, you, can, you can ride around the city and see the sights. Well, he decided to take one of those, but in his tour, in London, he saw a sign said the home of George Jeffries. And he asked the bus driver to let me off right here because he had been studying this man of God who was also a revivalist, who was a powerful man during his day that had such a powerful mantle that he revolutionized Europe. And he found the man and he went to the house, knocked on the door, and then this old lady answered the door and said, who are you looking for? And the man of God said, I'm looking for um, Evangelist Jeffries. Does he live here? And she says, yes, but he cannot talk. Amen. But look how look how good God is. My God in heaven. Check this out. Um, on his way to leave, because the woman said, listen, he ain't talking to nobody right now. Amen. He found the man of God's house that everyone thought was dead. But he asked because Reinhard Bunky had learned or heard that the man of God was dead. But here's, here's the catch. When he was about to walk out the door, he heard somebody say, wait, my God in heaven. It was uh, George Jeffries. And he came in and came down the stairs slow and frail. And he says, you're the boy I've been waiting for. This general of God knew he could not leave the planet until he passed on his mantle to somebody. Now, look how God is. This man got not only the mantle of that general, he went back and revolutionized a whole entire continent. But here's the catch. If he had missed his time, remember that, if he had missed his window of opportunity because of pride, because of scared of being, being proud for doing anything, he would have never be, he would have never have been known because the mantle he received took his ministry to the top level because he took a risk with God. He obeyed the inner voice of God. The Bible says that Abraham staggered not at the promises of God. You know why he didn't stagger? Because he had an inner ear where he can hear God to balance him out. My God, and most people, because they're frustrated with time, do not have the inner ear unclogged to hear God accurately when to move, when to turn left, who to connect with. So they'll stay eating at dead tables, eating scraps, eating molded food, eating something dead, and having empty heads laid on them with no power and nothing changes. My God in heaven, I'm telling you, honey, nothing changes because empty hands have put the empty hands have laid on people and there's nothing that changes in their life. Listen, if you have empty hands being laid on you, that means you have, you're wasting time and you don't get time back. Time waits for no man. Amen, honey? Mm. This is good. What you put in here? Sugar? <laughs> my God in heaven. My God. So my thing is, uh, the impartation comes from the mantle being passed by somebody who's, a, this guy was ready to die. And God kept him alive until the man, he said, you're the boy I've been waiting for. 
Ain't there a place to be in God when you have done your all, you have finished your course, but you cannot leave until you pass this anointing onto somebody. And that's what we need today. We need the anointing and the mantles passed us so we're not frustrated saying, God, what am I doing? I've been here for 20 years and ain't nothing changed. Honey, am I, am I saying that? Am I saying that? I'm about to say something. I said I was going to wait, but I feel like I need to say it tonight. Amen. Listen, my wife and I received something. My, I'm, yes, I'm going to say it. Yes, honey. Oh, absolutely. My wife and I received a powerful impartation from a powerful man of God that lives in England. My God, more details to come. But he took time with me and my wife, and he imparted something that you can't pay for this anointing. You can't pay for it. It was, And I'm thinking like, God chose us to go across the water to receive something that we were missing for what we needed to get started in person. And I'll get more details when that come out, amen, as I do some other things and put some other things in place. But my point is, I needed something to move to the next level. I got it now, amen. Amen. And my point to you is, even on tonight, you know you're in places that are dead. You know that. And now you, you figure, like, what am I going to do? Is God even listening to me? And so now your encouragement, now your heart is um, heavy because you think you offended God. Have we? I've been there, amen. I said, man, nothing happened for me. My family, we doing okay. We paying our bills, but nothing is happening. What am I here for? I'm 45, I'm 46, I'm 50, 55, 70, all the above, and nothing has happened. Amen. Time wasted. But redeeming time is when the right mantle comes before you. And you may not be called to the fivefold. You may be called to the entrepreneurship vein. And God will put you around a multi-millionaire to pass on a mantle to you through conversation, through teaching, all the above. <clears throat> My God, all the above, amen? Because you have been called to finance the end time. You've been called to finance projects. You've been called to finance this and that. Amen. My God in heaven. Perhaps you're called to the fivefold. Your relationship with that prophet, you cannot take that for granted. I'm telling you what I know as, as a prophet. When God puts you around one, and those on the line know who I'm talking to, when God puts you around one, it's for your benefit. And the devil's job is to rip you out of connection. So remember that. Stay connected. Amen. My God in heaven. There's a reason why uh, this particular prophet or this particular ministry is on your mind because you're in a dead house. And God is saying, go and support that ministry over there because over there is where I'm at. Over there, you will find the glory. And over there, you will find your assignment unlocked because the man of God carries what you need to be unlocked to go into your destiny. Or you, you can stay wrapped in time in a dead house with dead hands, empty hands, and nothing will happen for you. The choice is always ours. Amen. So how do we redeem time, honey? We ask God in our prayer time. My God in heaven. We ask God in our prayer time. What do I do, God? I've been here for 10 years. What am I to do? I'm serving, I'm faithful, but I'm not moving any further. Am I assigned here for, to, to eternity? If I am, what is my job here? Amen. Am I, am I, <laughs> yes, amen. Am I assigned here for certain things? What am I to do? Ask God. Listen, God is showing love on tonight. I'm telling you, this is why I'm going to fire me so high right now, because God is showing love to the people online tonight on YouTube and Facebook, because time needs to be restored unto you and I. And my wife and I, this is our testimony, and I'll give the full thing uh, once we get some other things in place. Amen. We, we both had a vision about the man of God, and we got hopped on the airplane, and we went and saw him. Amen. Hey, and how God favored us in a whole other nation cannot be explained. Not on this live tonight. I'm telling you, there's certain things that we heard. There's certain things that happened that we will have sealed until the day of redemption because only, only God can do that. Amen, honey? Only God can do it. And we know it was God. Amen? And we'll leave it at that as we move into our next uh, uh, into our next uh, phase, of our phase number two, which is our in-person service, which will be again on September 25th of those 
who are interested, come on down. This is not church as usual, amen. We we got a lot of exciting things. We're doing some fast building. Uh, we're doing a lot of great things for the community, the region, the world, all the above. And we'll do a lot of things that we'll, you'll see for yourself, amen. I put it like that. But you know, amen, redeeming time. Redeeming time, ask God, hey, number one, hey, God, what am I to do here? Number two, there is an impartation for you. God is so kind that he will do an impartation for you. Amen. He'll put you around the ones that will impart to you. And sometimes it's not the prophet. Sometimes it's, it's, it's Deacon Big Belly because Deacon Big Belly knows how to move things in, 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 in the business world. Amen. Oh, or oh, it's Mother Hoofenfoot. Mother Hoofenfoot is good at uh, leadership. And perhaps you need the impartation of leadership. Amen. All the above. Or, or if you're a prophet and you're a D level prophet, amen, and you're scared to be bold and you're scared, perhaps God will put you around a prophet who is bold, who does move in power, who does move in signs, wonders, and miracles, so you can get impartation and the unlocking to take you from D level to A level. So you won't be scared to prophesy because prophecy is a gift. My God in heaven, you, I can prophesy on demand right now. I don't need to ask God, God, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Oh God, I'll speak to me. It's a gift. If it was not a gift, he would not have given it to me. So at any time I can prophesy, I can go across the street and prophesy to my neighbor if I wanted to. Amen. Because God loves people and he gave me a gift to use it. And the only way my gift grows is I have to use it to get it to grow. Is that right? Amen. My wife is over here. Is over here about to have this baby. Hold on. Just relax, baby. Relax. <laughs> relax, honey. Amen. 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 So listen, God is God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I just feel like I need to say certain things, and I and I, and I said it. Amen. So God is um, God is God is able to do what He said He would do. Amen. God is able to do that, right? You have many teachers, right? And one father. A father is one who does not birth you out. That's a father. And fathers carry inheritance. Amen. The Bible says that Abraham gave gifts to the sons of his concubines. But to Isaac, he gave all he had. Think about that. Some people are going to receive gifts that come into your, 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 um, your circle of influence. But then there's some that you didn't birth out, my God, that you're going to give all to. Those are sons, my God in heaven. And nowadays, everybody wants to be a father and a mother. I, you know, I feel about that. Amen. Everybody wants to be a father and a mother, but that's a role that you, you shouldn't desire. It's already in you. My God in heaven, it's already in you. You don't have to fake it. I see people who are 19 years old saying, oh, that's my spiritual son. Sit down. You don't have no kids. You ain't raised nobody. You ain't birthed no kids out naturally. You don't know the pain, the suffering, irritation kids cause. How are you going to, I'm 19 with spiritual sons. Sit down somewhere your private self. You ain't, you ain't got no spiritual, you, are, you need to learn how to be a father first by sitting under one. So when you do have kids, you can father them correctly. My God. I'm telling you, a real father who has real sons, can I say this, honey, has real sons, the sons and the daughters will take a chastisement from the one they respect. That's a father-son relationship. So if I yell at you, not yell at you, if I get an attitude with you, if I'm on your case, Aaron, amen, <laughs> and if I do this, that because I received you like that, amen, and that's a great place to be, amen, but if I don't say nothing, if I don't do anything, I don't, that we have not come to that level yet. Amen. So we don't need to waste time trying to be something. We ain't. Amen. How about that, honey? <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Ain't no time, is it? Oh Jesus. Oh gosh. You want to say something? You sure? Now, in time. <laughs> hey, Yolanda. How you doing, Mister? <laughs> in time, God makes um, provision for us. Amen. Now. In God's time, and everyone should have this, um, how can I say this, honey? This, um, you know, I use my wife a lot, amen, because I'm getting her involved, amen, because one day she's going to be doing this on Thursday night because I may have to go be somewhere else. And so I'm, 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 I'm getting her in the spirit, getting her over here, amen, because we are a team, tag team, amen. So we're, 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 working at, <laughs> we're working it out, amen. But right now she's carrying our beautiful baby girl, amen, who is already such a joy to have, amen. Think about that. Uh, nah, yes, she she got an impartation too. Amen. Anyway, let's keep going. Listen, there are some non-negotiables with God. 
that I have that um, with God because I don't want to waste time. And some of my non-negotiables with God, amen, and I hope people listening tonight will have some non-negotiables because guess what? Uh, God cares about people, amen? God cares about people. God cares about your well-being. God is love, amen? Can I say that right? He is love. God is showing love on tonight. My God in heaven, he's showing love to the people because your ears need to hear this, amen? Now, listen, non-negotiable because we don't want to waste time is one. I have to know that God loves me. I have to know that God prospers me, amen? It's the will of God for you and I to prosper and be in good health. It's the will of God for you to have something. And to, my God, why does money have to be such a difficult subject? Money is money, amen? You, you need, we need money. Money answers all things. It's the will of God to prosper you financially. It's the, I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to say this. I'm going to train my kids this. I'm going to train those who are sons and daughters that you need money because it answers all things. My God in heaven. Listen, if you don't want no money, go out, go try to pay your rent with just like, uh, can I give you an IOU and see how that works out for you. Amen. Because you need <laughs> Anyway, God prospers us, non-negotiable. He wants to prosper you in business. He wants to prosper you in ministry. He wants to prosper you in relationships, all the above. I just heard something. I hope that. God loves me, non-negotiable. I know no matter what I do, God loves me. Amen. You cannot change that. Nothing I can do can make God hate me. None of the above. God is love and God loves me and God loves you. Amen. God doesn't waste time concerning. Uh, he doesn't waste my time. God don't put me on assignment to set me back five years. He don't do that, right? Redeeming our time. He says, I'll redeem the time. The locust, the canker worm, and all the other worms have taken. Those are different devils that take from the believers. And God says, if you get it to me, I'll redeem time. I'll restore your credit. I'll restore your marriage. I'll restore your money. If you get into me and not waste time, my God in heaven, if you want to restore, caveat, amen. God does not condemn me. He said in John 3, 17, I did not come to the world to condemn it. Amen. That's the chief weapon of the devil. God is upon me and God has called me. And I want to um, move into that before I bridge over to the prophetic. God has called you and God has called me. Amen. Whatever your assignment is, God has called you to do it. Amen. Can't nobody take you out of the office when God's called you to it. Can't nobody remove your anointing when God's given it to you. Amen. God told the prophet before he got here, I knew you. Jeremiah, the full grown prophet, was talking to God in spirit form. And God said, I ordained you. So it does not matter what they say. Get that in your spirit. If you on tonight are in a business relationship, or you are moving towards the fivefold ministry, or you're just a minister, or you're an a, a usher, or a security worker, nursery worker, God has called you. And when people leave you, it's still God who called you. That don't change. Amen. And we all need to know that, that God loves us. He's called to various fields. This one thing that I do. Now, listen, God has called me and my wife to this platform. Amen. I know it for a fact. I didn't put an application in. None of the above. It's just the way God before time began, I was already a prophet before I went into my mother. I was already one. My God in heaven. <laughs> so I didn't have to put an application in or try to take a, a prophetic class or none of the above. It was going to happen anyway without a class because God called me to this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Where is Miriam at? Is she on tonight? Woo, my YouTube. Miriam, you on here? Woo. 
Ooh, I hope she on there. I hope she ain't missed this. Let me know if she respond, honey. Amen. Oh, my God in heaven. And I know I have a slight delay in some of these, um, some of these um, lives. Amen. Listen, we, we're about to prophesy. So let me, let me go over here to YouTube. Amen. God is kind. My God in heaven. Yes, right. You are called, Teresa. You and Davin been called. Amen. And your anointing, you know where it's at. Amen. It's much more. It's much more. And God said, there is um, my God in heaven. Mm. Uh, Teresa and Davin, I hope you're listening. My God and YouTube, uh, I'm coming for you in here in a second. Amen. My God in heaven. You know, um, uh, Teresa. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> they lied to you and told you that you would never become something. That was a lie from the pit of hell. In the realm of the spirit, I see fingers pointed at you as if you would not become anything grand in this life. My God in heaven. But I'm telling you as a prophet of God, as I look at those fingers pointed at you, I see the Lord standing mighty and strong in front of you. And what God is doing with you and your husband, my God, will be written in the books for time to come. I'm talking about, and I know we, we, we spoke, but I'm in a deeper vein tonight, amen? I know as God's man, amen? My God in heaven. <laughs> it's coming so fast, I'm trying to get it all out, amen? Mm-hmm. I hear you, Lord. March of 2023, I see something happening for you and, and Davin that you've been believing God for, but you have not had the language or the resources to get it off the ground. There is a door opening for you to get what's in your heart off the ground. Prepare your, my God in heaven. I don't know what significant a March is, but I know the month of March of 2023 is going to be a powerful launching month for you and your husband. I'm telling you as God's prophet, and I'm even looking at the date, March, my God in heaven. <laughs> Honey, what day is the 23rd? Give me one second, hit that. Mm hmm. <laughs> Isn't that something? It's fire and ice at night. And guess what? March 23rd is going to be a powerful day for you. And that's on a Thursday. I don't know why God showed me 23rd, but in there, ironic that today's um, a Thursday as well. Amen. Now, listen, you guys need impartation. I'm telling you, and I'm not, listen, I'm going to let that sink in your spirit. And let's, and let's chat. You two need impartation because um, God wants to um, accelerate you, but there has to be a, a um, there has to be mentorship. There we go. In the spiritual things. My God in heaven. There has to be mentorship because that's the peace that you need. It's not that you're not doing the stuff right. It's not that you're not trying to get things done. It's not that you're not trying to write things down. It's the spiritual peace that you need because sometimes you need somebody with authority to kick the thing open for you. And that's done through relationship. Amen. And that's done through prayer and all the above. We can talk on that uh, at, at some other time. Davin, give me a call. And I mean, one of you, one of you two give me a call. Amen. And we can go further in that conversation. Amen. God, to God be the glory. Okay. God bless you, um, um, uh, Davin and Teresa. Amen. Amen. Ooh, my God in heaven. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, amen. Amen. Okay. I'm going over here to YouTube, your Facebook. Just hold on one second as I prophesy uh, to, to those on YouTube. Amen. So just give me a second. Um, amen. God bless you, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Fragment. Amen. Ama. Um, Ama Fragment. Amen. Um, 
I want you to know as God's prophet, I'm telling you, uh, Miss Frack, if I say your name wrong, please forgive me. Amen. I'm just trying to sound out the vowels and the consonants and all the above and, and use my uh, training to say your name correctly. Amen. Miss Miss Amy um, um, Fragment. Amen. God is accelerating you so swiftly in this time. And my God, yes, Lord, he is accelerating you so swiftly in this time. And God wants you to know, not that you question what I'm about to say as his prophet, but God wants you to know that he has been in love with you. He loves you and has been in love with you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. God has said you are one of his daughters in whom he's well pleased. And God said, just as you desire to make a mark on this world, God says, your request has been granted. I see you. I don't know if you are familiar with, um, I mean, let me say it like this. Um, in the room of the spirit, there is a, an angel um, coming to you. And this is no ordinary angel. Um, there is a visitation coming to you where God is going to give you a gift of healing that you've asked for. And, and you are going to move in signs and wonders because he needs you to revolutionize wherever you're located at. Um, I think you said you're in Hungary. I think she said it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I think, I think you said, I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, um, to revolutionize, you have a heart for the poor. And when people have a heart for God's people, amen, and for God's agenda, God wants to use you and he's going to use you because your heart is postured in the right way, amen? And God says to uh, study the generals of old who move in such a, such a great gifts, um, Catherine Kuhlman being one of them. Um, if you don't know who that is, you can Google her, Catherine Kuhlman, and you can see the, the type of ministry she had because I see God using you in that same fashion. Guess what? Those mantles on those generals who, who are dead and gone, they don't leave the earth. What happens when the general dies is that mantle they carry, it stays on the earth till somebody picks it up, amen? And multiple people can pick it up through reading and studying and life and all the above and, ask, and asking for it, amen, all the above. Um, because guess what? Mantles aren't needed in heaven. So there's no, need, there's no need to take it. This is why Elijah dropped his down because he don't need it up there, amen? Although he ain't dead yet. That's deep, ain't it? Uh, Revelation chapter 11, you read about the two witnesses and Elijah is one of them, amen? Uh, hold the teaching, hold of the story, amen? But uh, Miss Fragment, prepare yourself because your life is going to change in such a, a, a drastic way. She's weeping, y'all, because God's talking to her, amen? So God bless you, Miss Fragment. I'm not done yet. Your life is changing because of your posture um, in, uh, in him, my God in heaven. And I don't know what uh, significance this is for you, um, but um, tell me what the month of May means for you. Amen. And you can take your time typing it and uh, we'll, we'll wait for you. But as we waited for what your response is, uh, Miss Tracy Kaufman. Amen. Thank you for your kindness and goodness, Lord. Amen. Isn't the Lord kind? Amen. <laughs> the Lord says to you tonight, Miss Tracy, that not only does he also love you, my God in heaven, he says, tell the woman of God the thoughts, the plans, the intentions that he has for her has not changed. It does not matter what they said to you. It does not matter how they treated you. God says before the foundation of the earth, my God in heaven, you were called. Amen. <laughs> My God in heaven, and you're going to see um, not only that the remainder of this year, matter of fact, this is a corporate war for everybody. The remainder of 2022 is going to be the best year months of your life. My God in heaven. That's for everybody. I, 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 I'm getting on that too. It's going to be the, I'm talking about restoration. I, I'll, I'll be right back with you, uh, uh, Tracy. Um, I, hear, I hear God speaking corporately. It's going to be restoration. I know we spoke about this back in January and February and March, April, but this is going to be results. Some of us and some of you have been believing God for something specific 
I'm talking about whether it be finances, whether it be a lost son, whether it be a relationship we reborn, all the above. This is the time because God don't mix his words. Amen. So receive that's 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 for everybody on tonight. And this is why tonight was so uh, so important for for um, people to be on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But Miss Tracy, um, Miss Tracy, um, golly, I got this right here. Oh, my God, I have a Tracy Kaufman. God is going to show himself mighty in your life. I'm telling you. The devil is a liar. I heard that for you. The devil is a liar. Prepare yourself. Amen. Prepare yourself. Because just like a God, you have dreams and visions for a reason. Because even as a little girl, you dream and have visions, but you had no language for them. And God says, even then, I showed the woman of God things to come. You have seen the future through visions and dreams. And God says, because of your uh, desire to pray and your desire to intercede, is he's giving you certain tasks to accomplish through the, the canal of prayer. This is why the devil fights you so much, because your prayers make ways in the spirit. I see you in your house singing to God. And when you sing, when you are singing, those goosebumps you feel, it's the angel of the Lord fanning you because the fire of God is upon you. And so let me tell you something. Your enemies may come in one way, but they will flee seven ways. My God in heaven. So you need not worry about people coming against you. And when they come against you, and when people inquire how things are going, you say like a woman said in the book of Kings, all is well. All will be well with your family. I don't know who you're praying for in your family, but I see a family that's in need. And your prayers are sustaining people in the family unit. But God says, tell the woman of God that not only is he going to resupply the woman of God with strength, my God in heaven, but he's going to resupply the woman of God with resources. Because you have work to do. Amen. Amen. In the month of May, you tell me what that means to you. Because May is significant for your life. Amen. God has shown me all these months tonight. Amen. <laughs> and the Lord is kind. All is well. That's right. Go forward and go strong. Amen. All is well. Tell them all is well. Because <laughs> sometimes people want to see you, want to want to be want to be a a, a, a catalyst to your downfall. Amen. 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 Uh. Roxy, what's up, Roxy? <laughs> Is that Roxanne? That's Roxanne. Hey, Roxy. <laughs> That's my little sister, y'all. We call her Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. <laughs> Amen. That's a song back in the 80s, right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you, uh, Miss Miss uh Miss Carpenter. Hey, listen, um, Miss Carpenter, stay connected. And um Miss Frag Fragments, Frag, what's her name, honey? Ms. Frank, stay connected to this ministry, amen? Even if you have a, another table uh, that you're eating from, that's fine. But you will learn stuff here also as well, amen? We don't, listen, this, we, my wife and I, we don't steal sheep. We, do, we don't do that, amen? That's, that's not our MO. That's not what we do, amen? And we're not gonna start doing that because we just, we just, we don't, we, we don't have an interest, amen? Oh yeah, May's gonna be good for you, amen? <laughs> um, I don't know why Mother's Day keeps popping up to me. It's May, right? Yeah, well, who around you has something to deal with, with May? Whatever it is. Um, I wish we could do this in person. Amen. All right, Roxanne. God bless you. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right. I see we over here in um we over here in um hey, that's right, Miss Tanika. Receive that. Amen. All right, let me switch sides for a second. Amen. Hey, Yolanda. God bless you. <laughs> well, um 
Wow, ain't that something? That's all right, Teresa. I saw fingers pointing at you in the spirit. <clears throat> wow, look at that. See, God knows, right? God knows, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's May. So it must be a May night. Amen. Isabella, Miss Fragment. That's where restoration is coming your way, Miss Fragment. And Isabella was born in May. See, so all I knew May, May pops up. Amen. It's connected somehow in here. <laughs> Amen. Uh, well, let's go ahead and, and prophesy to those who are affected by May. Um, and don't worry, Tracy. Um, you'll find out what May means. <laughs> It'll come to you. And sometimes when you're doing in the prophetic, um, sometimes somebody around you, like May is um, is, a, is a time I found out that we're going to have a baby. We find out. Amen. So May is a big month. Amen. It was a good tidings in that month. Amen. But uh, yes, Miss Fragman, don't worry. God is going to, um, he's already done it, restored you. Amen. So God bless you, Miss Miss Fragman. And um, Isabella, um the me true. Amen, Isabella. God bless you. You know, you've been so kind to my, my wife and I. You've been uh, so supportive. So thank you so much. And we just uh, command a blessing uh, to be over your life for your, your kind words and your support and all the above. You know, um, that does mean a lot to us. Amen. I mean, it, it doesn't stroke our ego, um, but we like when God's people are encouraged. Amen. And we, we're glad to, to, to see that that's happening uh, for you and and um, good 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 news and good things um, will happen for you. Amen. So God bless you, Miss Is Isabella. I don't know who came against you. My God in heaven. It seems like somebody this year um, came against you, whether uh, whether directly or indirectly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tracy. Hey, the month of May is yours. Amen. So prepare yourself for um, for um, to be blessed. But Isabella, um, I don't know who came against you in this year, um, but I see the devil trying to send um, some type of discouragement your way. And sometimes he'll use people uh, that are close to you. He'll use coworkers. Uh, he'll use situations that kind of draw us back. And I'm not saying you did that. My point is that um, God wants you to know, just like I, um, Teresa was told by God tonight, they were finger pointing at you, my God in heaven. And God says to tell the woman of God that um, he stands as a, 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 a battle ram ready for battle on your behalf. My God in heaven. There we go. He stands as a, 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 a battle axe so to speak, um, on your behalf. And listen, God loves you, my God. And God is, um, even on tonight, um, my God, honey. <laughs> Woo, it don't make sense, but I'm gonna say it. There are three things that are gonna to happen to you in the next three months. And they, um, and I'm telling you, it's almost like they're gonna compound. And this is what God has showed me. Um, it's almost like a, 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 a special delivery for you. And I see God and I'm, I'm looking at angels delivering gifts to you. I don't know what it is you've been praying for or prayed for. Um, there are, you know, God drops gifts down to men. My God in heaven. He said, I gave gifts to men. You know, we think about a five-fold office, but, you know, a gift can be um, a sharp mind. A gift can be um, you're good at this and you're good at that. A gift can be administration. A gift can be all type of things. God gave gifts to men. And there are three gifts God's going to enhance in your life. And one of those gifts, my God in heaven, is, um, you know, they say there's nine gifts of spirit. Actually, it's more than nine. Amen. But that's not my lesson tonight. But um, you have a strong gift of administration, and that's going to open doors for you. I don't know what you do for a living, but that's going to open doors for you because you have a excellent spirit about you. My God. And the devil tries to fight your excellency because it does refresh people around you. And I snap, there it is. I see people trying to downplay, trying to minimize, and trying to um, uh, put you in a place where um, I'm going to say this. 
where your value is minimized. Man, there is chatter behind your back. My God in heaven. There's people who was coming against you behind your back because the spirit of jealousy has entered into their heart. But God says for you not to worry because he was there. And he said, he has defended and protected you. And I'm telling you as God's prophet and God's man, that the gifts of being delivered to you is going to enhance your life um, even the more. Not only at, at, in the administration world, but you have a gift to serve. And God has put that in you, even as a young girl, that you always wanted to make sure people were taken care of. God designed you like that because he needed somebody in the future, especially your, your sphere of influence, to uh, be a blessing to people around you. Amen. I see that all over you. Amen. And even your prayer life, you know, there's levels in prayer. Amen. And I see God uh, even gracing your mantle in that particular vein, even the more. Amen. So God bless you, Miss Isabella, and prepare yourself. I hear you. Um, prepare yourself. My God, there is, and you mark this night, there is a significant financial blessing coming to you that no man can stop and no devil can try to try to try to destroy. Receive, amen. I received it for myself, amen. God bless you, Miss Isabella. God bless you, amen. You're so welcome. God got you. That's right. God got you, Miss Miss uh, Isabella. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I see you over there, Amber. You hold hold tight. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Um, amen. Oh, thank you, Letitia. God bless you as well. Amen. And may God richly bless you, my God in heaven. And may God make your enemies to fall. And may God send you the help you need to get your assignment done. That glory that's on your life, that's from the Lord. My God, you have a gift to gather people. And the devil has fought you tooth and nail to not show forth that gift or not have that gift operate at its full capacity. But you have a grace to gather people. My God, you have influence. And I see God giving you more influence. You are such a blessed woman of God. My God, uh, Mr. Tisha, that you, my God in heaven, that... um. I gotta say this, uh, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and he adds no sorrow with it. There's some things you just got, amen, and some things that people don't got. And what you got is the blessing of the Lord. I'm looking at you and I don't even know who you is, but I'm, I'm all in the spirit room because in the realm of the spirit, I'm telling you that, <laughs> yes, Lord, and I'm telling you that, yeah, <laughs> that I'm sorry, I'm stuck here because, you know, when you prophesy, there's multiple things coming at you at once. So much time laughing because I, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to go there for you. But there is such a, a, a grace upon your life. You are a grace girl. You are a grace woman. You have grace written all over you. Your kindness uh, destroys the enemy. Watch out because the month of April is going to be a time of celebration for you. I don't know what you believe in God for, but God says, tell the woman of God, I'm in the spirit room. Tell the woman of God that the month of April 2023, that what she has believed him for, it said you've been asking God for something for the last five years, and you've been trying to get this thing pushed, and God says, tell the woman of God, I heard her the first time, but when she wrote the vision down, he took it to the future, but delivery day is April of 2023, and there is a full restoration coming to you, my God in heaven, and you're going to find yourself, even in the next five years, moving in such a grace and there is such a um there is such a peace coming over you because guess what you know just like there was a joseph in the family you are the female version of joseph in your family people come to you and there's going to be a lot of people coming to you for more and more advice so miss letitia you be blessed and don't and be bold with it guess what you already have boldness amen we are we don't have to pray for boldness we already have it be bold in front of the enemy because God is using you in such a way to gather people. God has showed love, much love, not just on tonight, 
My God, yes, sir, we thank you, God, for showing love. And he wants you to show that love to the people around you. Because believe it or not, there are people who will never tell you what I'm about to say as God's prophet. They will never tell you that the way you live your life is an inspiration to them. And it's causing people to search the word themselves. Almost like you have a bunch of Nicodemus around. They'll come to you in a nighttime hour because they don't know how to, they don't know how to be bold yet. But there is a, there is a, a gathering anointing upon your life, ma'am. So God bless you, Miss uh, Le Letitia, right, honey? I said it right. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Amen. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for following. God bless you all the way. Amen. Yes. You know, when I prophesy, if you, if they, you can receive that as well. Amen. You don't, you don't have to be the one getting the word. You can receive it for yourself. Amen. And partake uh, uh, in this thing. Amen. Amen. So God bless you uh, uh, for your kindness. Amen. Let me see something. Um, I'm going to prophesy to some people who have sown. Um, not because you pay for prophecy, but whenever somebody pulls on the anointing like that, um, I just I just prophesy to them. That's just my custom, and I know that's other people's uh, 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 custom as well. Amen. So God bless you. Um, <laughs> these are and these are my uh, faithful faithful supporters who are being a blessing. Um, um, on yes, you're so much welcome. God is good, amen. I'm telling you, your tears are gonna be turned into dancing. My God in heaven, you know, when I even when I just saw those emotions, I saw you dancing a few minutes ago. I didn't want to put any context to it, but God showed me you dancing because of the joy that's in your heart. My God in heaven. So, woman of God, Letitia, I'm telling you that I'm telling you. If I can just put it all in, 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 into a package, your life will never be the same. As a matter of fact, you have such a, um, a heart for people. God can trust you with gifts. You know, the gift of healing. I don't know why I'm on that tonight. Uh, the gift of healing. God wants people healed. Amen. He does not want people uh, suffering. He don't want them dying prematurely, uh, wasting time trying to get out there. He wants people healed. And sometimes he needs somebody to move by faith and lay hands so the sick can recover and just like two gloves I, i'm in the i see this in the room of the spirit just like two gloves coming upon your hands i see those that is a gift of he that's a gift of healing anointing upon your life so when you pray for the sick and when you pray for people um it's not you doing it it's your faith moving in God's gift because that thing is just dropped on you just like that. It's your faith moving and the people, if they can receive, will be made whole. My God in heaven, God is using you, ma'am. I'm telling you, that gift was on your, I'm looking down your bloodline now. That gift has been always in the female side, on your mother's side. The gift of healing has always been in that side of the family. My God, it just got lost in the shuffle. But God has put that thing in your hands. My God, he's put that thing in your hands. Even as I'm prophesying, that thing is coming down to you now. Whew, my God, I feel the anointing on that. Amen. That's right, Miss Miss Ramsey. Tears turning into dancing. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. You know, Aaron. Um, Aaron has uh, access to me because uh, he is my armor bearer. Um, but I need to say this to him tonight. Amen. You might be on YouTube, what the case may be. But you know, Aaron in the Bible um, was the high priest. Amen. He was a high priest of Israel. And even God had given um, the man of God instructions. He said, tell Aaron, the high priest, this is how the fathers are to pray for the, the, the children of Israel. And that's in Numbers chapter six. But my point is, is a name means something profound. Prophetically, amen. And so with the name Aaron, it's called to leadership, amen. Listen, it's a calling. That means it's a process to get there. And there's a reason why you're around me. It's a, it's, a, it's a big reason why you're around me, amen. But my prophecy to you tonight as God's prophet, and I've told you this, and I'm making this decree, that you and your family will stay connected. My God, I have to say that because what you're going to get around can cause, um, it, it, it will invoke a jealousy. I put it like that. It would invoke a, a jealousy in certain people. And don't let people pull you out of your place. I'm telling you, if you handle the man of God and the woman of God correctly, your life, and listen, my guy, I can say it now, yesterday I heard you, your, 
your submission to the man of God, uh, your service to the man of God, it's going to break decades and centuries of demonic curses that have been attached to that last name. I'll leave it at that. Amen. And let me go to the other side here. You know what I mean by that. Um, Aaron had responsibility, not only that God told the man of God to tell Aaron, the high priest, to tell the children. Um, that means he was in a place of leadership, but uh, but also he had responsibility to keep Moses' hand raised. With, with Moses and Aaron, and they had to keep them having things raised up so people could win. And so at some point and sometime, you have to know spiritually when you have to keep the hands raised. Amen. And that's not something you ask. It's something you know because you spend time with God. So you have to be a man known as one that carries the presence of God because you spend time with him because the, 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 um, the calling on your life is so critical. Amen. And I'm going to leave it at that. Now we talk every day. We talk well, every the other day, whatever, whatever it is, and you have to understand uh, the, the, the place you're in. And I'm saying this publicly so people can hear this, amen. You have to understand the place you're in because you won't be the only one, but you're the first one. We put it like that, amen. That'll be in a, a position where you're around the men of God like this um, because God put you there, amen. <laughs> put it like that, amen. Um, and I'll, I'll leave it, leave it up to that. But Miss Neil, God bless you, uh, woman of God. Uh, thank you for your offering. You're so kind. God bless you. Um, whatever you have need of, woman of God, Miss Neil, Miss Kim Neil, whatever you have need of, when you pray, standing, believe you have received and you shall have. Amen. And just by virtue of impartation, I, we just set our faith in agreement for what you desire. Amen. Because it's time for some um, uh, everlasting results. Amen. I put it like that. Amen. I, I put it that way. And you, you know I'm getting that. It's time for some everlasting results because there's coming a day where uh, uh, hands will be laid. My God. And everything that was chasing you down, everything that was hindering you, everything that was trying to break you, everything that lied to you, everything that was empty will be no more. Amen. Because there is a powerful impartation um, in the future for you. I'm, I'm in the spirit now. Because in the realm of the spirit, God has shown me, my God in heaven, God has shown me um, what you should have been doing 10 years ago. Oh my God in heaven. I'm, I'm, I'm in this thing now, honey. Um, what you should have been doing 10 years ago. But for whatever reason, the devil tried to come in and take you out. Amen. I'll leave it that because I don't tell personal business. Um, that's why the attack was so great and so, and, and so fierce. Because if you ever got a revelation of who you were called to be, it's trouble for the devils because in that family, my God in heaven, I don't think, and we could talk offline. Um, I'll, I'll leave it like this. Um, God loves you. God loves your family. And over time, past time, the devil has tried to tie time up. And that's what's causing, that's the root cause of some ongoing issues. I put it like that. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave it like that. But there is, you know, um, uh, what's, honey, what's that thing called? Breaker? The breaker's anointing? The breaker's anointing has been hovering over you. Um, I, I, I'll say that. Amen. Yeah. So God bless you, uh, Kim. Uh, there's more. You just yeah, we'll, we'll talk. Amen. Uh, some things I can't put over airwaves. But the breaker's anointing is all over you. Amen. Put like that. And it doesn't matter what people will say. It don't matter what they think. It don't matter if they try to bring up your past because they got a past too. Amen. It don't, it don't matter. It doesn't matter with God. My God. <laughs> God is love. And God loves you. Amen. And God is um, going to redeem time for you. Um, because the impartation that you will receive in the future is going to catch you up 20 years spiritually. 
Amen. And it's going to, it, it, oh, yes, Lord. And it's going to restore 20 years back to you. It's going to catch you up 20 and restore 20. My God in heaven. <laughs> Amen. I hear you, Lord. Amen. So God bless you. So, oh, oh, yes, Lord. Um, Miss Kim. Um, the month of June. I know I'm using months tonight. This is what God has used me tonight. Um, I know it's a little time for next year. June has passed, but June, um, June's gonna be a good month for you. Amen. So God bless you. God bless you, Miss Miss Kim. Let me go over here to Facebook. Hey, Prophetess Diana, how you doing, ma'am? God bless you. Hey. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. The breakers are known. That's right. Yeah, June is going to be a good month for you. I mean, God has put it out there tonight. Amen. God bless you. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's see. One second. Let's see here. Face uh, YouTube. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Over YouTube. God to God be the glory. Hey, my mom is on on tonight. Hey, Amen. My mom. Um, my mom's birthday is tomorrow. Could you all wish her a happy birthday? Happy birthday, mom. I know you, tomorrow's your day, but we saying happy birthday to you today. Amen. And we shall. We shall make sure that you have some birthday, um, some birthday um, vignettes tomorrow. You know that. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you, Miss Mildred Ortega. Blessings to you as well. Blessings upon blessing uh, to you as well, ma'am. God bless you so much, Mildred Ortega. I just, I hear the word of the Lord for you. My God in heaven. Yes, thank you all so kindly for being so kind, my mother. Amen. <laughs> God bless you, uh, Miss Ortega. Um, amen. Amber, I forget about you. You're next. Amen. Um, God bless you, Miss Ortega. Um, the word of the Lord for you. Um, I'm tr God wants you to know, amen that he loves you as well. And listen, when God says that, it's not like he's saying that um, you don't think that, you don't know that. It's just him reaffirming what you already know. Amen. And God loves you. And God is wanting to be so kind. Thank you, Ms. Ramsey. So uh, wants to be so kind to you. And he wants to uh, be a blessing to you and to yours and to all that you have influence over um, but I hear the word of the Lord for you, Miss uh, Mildred Ortega, that um, the devil fights you tooth and nail. And I'm going to tell you where he fights you at. Um, he fights you in, and I'm going to tell you why. He fights you in the realm of the mind um, because the kind of mind that God has given you is one of those very sharp and powerful minds. This is why like um, uh, certain people from your past and always try to attack you with words, amen? And uh, words can have an effect on the psyche, but on tonight, God is saying, tell the woman of God that I love her and I was the one who called her. Some things that happen in our life um, that, that, that we don't like or that we don't uh, understand, sometimes it is God um, uh, being, um, not to say matchmaker, being a one to, to, to get us out of things. Amen. But I see God, I'm in the room of the spirit now. I see God um, for your future and even for your present, uh, restoring a lot back to you. It's almost as if um, there was a season of weariness that came upon you, not because you did anything wrong, but because the warfare had intensified so much that the devil was trying to take you out. Um, because of the minds you have, listen, God is using you uh, here in this next season. And when I say next season, I mean the next few months. There is a, 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 a assignment specifically for you. Amen. 
I don't know if you write books or you have some desire to um, to do something like that, be creative. Um, I just saw a book show up. It could be somebody else, but um, write books or or be uh, you're in some type of business. I don't even know. I don't know, but you have to tell me. Amen. Um, but God is going to put things in order for you um, because of your heart and your heart posture towards him. Um, he said, tell the woman of God that he has not forgotten about you. He has not um, uh, left you. But God says, just like it says in his word, that he sticks closer than a brother. Amen. God is saying to you and tonight that he's closer than a brother to you. Amen. My God in heaven. And in the nighttime, and you're in, um, God is showing you, and you, your dreams have been very, I don't know how we say this, very uh, vivid. And God's going to give you context to those dreams. And there are some desires in your heart that God is going to come to pass. He says, when you delight yourself in me, he shall give you the desires of your heart. The next two years for you, Miss Ortega, Mildred Ortega, is going to be um, very um, exciting, if that makes sense. Amen. Very exciting. And where you're not going to, um, your good days, will far outweigh what we can consider bad days. I guess we can say that, amen. But it's going to be a lot of good for you, amen, because you're stepping into a season of uh, recompense and reward for your service to the kingdom, amen. You know, God is faithful. He said in the Bible, he's faithful. To, he's faithful to um, he who wins souls receives wages. That's in the Bible. And God has said wages and recompense and rewards is, is, is your, <laughs> your reception. I don't want to see Harvey to get this out there. Amen. But um, God bless you, Miss uh Miss Ortega. I'm telling you, God, you're welcome. Um, I don't know how to say it, honey. You want a prop, sir? <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Amber, where you at? Amber, you still on here? What you hearing for Amber, honey? Mm. Amen. I wait for my wife. My wife has a word for Amber. Um, amen. Amen. God bless you. I'll start it. She'll she'll chime in. She'll she'll relay what what the Lord is saying uh, for you, Amber. So God bless you, Miss Amber. You know. Uh, and uh, Mildred, I'm not done, but Amber, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Um, sometimes we we can have a a um, and I say this. God wants you. I say it like this. God wants you to know that even as a little girl, that He has been in love with you. Like I said, one, one, four, he's loved you and still loves you. Amen. And the love of God, even as I'm prophesying to you, is, is coming to you like a mighty rushing wind in your heart because God wants you to know what love is. Amen. Nothing you did wrong, nothing you did right. It's just God just loves people. If I can say that, amen. God loves you so much that what you think have been mistakes and you think God is not um, able, or not say able, but God is not there. Um, I'm seeing you uh, in a place and I'm seeing tears come down and I'm seeing the conversation with God and saying, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this, yada, yada, yada. And God says that when she asked me for forgiveness, I had, I had already forgiven them. And when she brings it back up, he has no idea what you're talking about because it's under the blood. And God is saying to her to show you that um, he's talking to you on tonight. My God in heaven. In your part. My God, God is saying to you. Yes. Amen. Who's a, yes. That's right, Miss Ramsey. Yes. Yes, that's where right. all that we have. He's done it. My amen. Amen. God bless you. Yes. In your heart, God is saying 
um, that um, he, you know, it's like a little room where we have, you know, in, in, a, in a house, you can have the, the hidden room, where, not hidden room, but you can have a place where you put everything in it and you don't want nobody to see. But God's in that room. Amen. The stuff you, you don't want them to see, God's in, in that room. Because God wants you to know, even in that room, he still loves you. And there's nothing you can do to change it. There's nothing you can do to minimize it. And in God's love, there is going to be a shift in your life. And um, what you may perceive as heartache and pain is God removing you from something because he does love you. Amen. Because God um, has something for you to do. And there is a, a, a calling and a push upon your life. And what's going to happen? I'm telling you, my God in heaven, you know, um, and I say this, God assigns us different things to do in the earth realm and this and, this and that and the other. Um, but as far as you're concerned, there is an ability and there is a grace to be a watchman. Amen. And the reason why your life has been, um, I would say something to the effect of, um, I would just, just say, uh, uh, has been, and people don't know you, you relax. The devil has tried to make your life hard because if you ever get loose, the watchman in you is going to come out and the watchman can see and discern and speak to things that are uh, out of place. Amen. And so God is saying to you, his love is going to show you um, who he is. Amen. And so God said, tell the woman of God in the next 12 months, if you stay connected with this ministry, amen. If you stay connected with this ministry in 12 months, your life will be something grand and it will not be the same but it'll be projected towards greatness and for your future. I'm telling you as God's prophet and God's man, we're going to be in service on September 25th. Um, I can't wait to see you there. Amen. Because there is impartation waiting for you. You know, the people bought the, the woman to him, that um, this woman to, to Jesus that was uh, caught doing something crazy. Um, and I like the Lord's response. He who is without sin cast the first stone. And you know the story. Everybody left. Amen. And God says, neither does he condemn you. God's forgiven you. I don't like you going there. God wants you to know that. Now, the devil's trying to say that, um, is trying to bring up to your mind things that you have asked for forgiveness 10 times over. And God says, I heard you the first time. And God is going to use you in a place of love and compassion for people who have been broken. There is a ministry inside of you. My God, you may not be called to the fivefold or to, to a pulpit, but there is a ministry inside of you. You can relate to people. And there's a, there is a, there is a people designed for you on the other side that you have to reach. There, God has put them there. And it's almost like they're in the tombs, but Amber has to get free because across the other side, you're going to be able to break chains. Amen. I'm telling you, there is a grace upon your life. And this particular anointing is from your mother's side of the house. My God in heaven. And it has been um, yeah, I know you did pray for, and that's what God showed me. You prayed for giving heart last night. Um, and God has forgiven you. Don't worry about that. But there is a grace for, um, for people who are hurting that's in your heart. And God says that, um, when you hook up and when you get under the, the right leadership, the right man and woman of God, and you stay consistent, because guess what? I know I will see you on September 25th. If you stay under this covering as we follow Christ, your life will not be the same in 12 months. And any court case against you shall be canceled. I'm telling you as a prophet of God, because God has need of you. God has need of you. And there is a people waiting on the other side. Because there, like I said before, there was a grace 
that has been missed by generations. I'm not saying I see and I hear a lion roaring in the back of, back of me, the side of my ear, and in the spirit, because somebody on your mother's side has missed their calling, but the calling and the assignment has not left the earth. And if you give God a yes and an amen, that calling and that assignment will drop on you and you'll begin to see your life change. And I'm telling you, in the next five years, if you stay with God, not being perfect, amen, not being perfect, but there, if you stick with God, the life that you once lived will be crucified in Christ. And the life that you now live will be Christ living through you. And mighty deeds and signs and wonders will be done by you in the streets. You know, the Bible says, do the work of the evangelist. Why did God have to say that? Because the evangelist was being lazy. So he had to get somebody else to go do the work of the evangelist. Amen. And I'm telling you, you have a grace to win people. And God cares about souls, but he needs somebody to move through. Amen. And God will restore everything that you have lost. My God in heaven. I don't know why your son is standing right before me, but I'm going to tell you this as God's prophet. God will put things back in order just as you heart, your heart has desired. And he will take the boy from that environment and put them around somebody living for God. I'm telling you what I know. And God will restore. God will put your money back. God will put all your stuff back. And then add to, but you have to get with God. Amen. And stay with God. Amen. And all of the above. Amen. I'm telling you as God's prophet and God's man, what I'm seeing. And this is why your son is standing right before me, smiling. Because he is looking forward to the day that he is 100% with his mom. Oh, my God in heaven. And you're talking about a, my God. God's going to show you how much he loves you. Let me tell you, he's going to demonstrate it not only in signs, wonders, and deeds, but he's going to demonstrate it through another vessel that will not put their hands on you, that will not degrade you, that will not disrespect you, all the above. There are men out there that love God for real. And I'm one of them, amen, that understand God's daughters are priorities and they are to be loved and loved hard and loved with everlasting love every day, amen, because these are his daughters. And anybody who crosses his daughters, woe unto him, it's better that he tied a stone around his neck and jump in the water, amen. So God bless you. And we just decree over you, Amber, that there is a swift restoration. There's a phone call coming for you. I don't know if you believe in God for a, a better place of employment or something in promotion. I don't know. But there is a phone call coming from you. As sure as I'm speaking this thing in this camera, that there is a phone call coming for you that's going to bless your spirit and bless your soul. And you're going to call to tell us about it. Amen. Either through Messenger. Aaron has my number to call. Him, and you, you can get it from Aaron. Or, uh, you can call my wife. And you're going to tell us your testimony. And you're going to be a testimony to many and say, this is what God did for me because I gave him a yes. Amen. That is so. Amen. So God bless you, Miss Amber. Amen. You are loved. You are wanted. And you are, you are loved. My God in heaven. I can't get off that. You are loved. You got anything for Amber? My wife has something for you as well, Amber. Amen. She said, um, Amber is a precious jewel. Her price is not only far above rubies, but she is rare and a jewel in the sight of the Lord. That's what the Lord gave her for you. Amen, Amber. Um, so God, thank you, honey, for that. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Restoration. We decree over you. Restoration that even on this year, that you will see tangible results. Amen. And when the time comes for impartation, Empty hands will be laid. It will be powerful hands laid over you. Amen. Powerful hands laid over you. So God bless you, uh, Miss Amber. Amen. God bless you. Yes, so beautiful. Amen. 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 Miss Beverly Ramsey. Um, God bless you, ma'am. Um, you know, we, you are such a great support to my wife and I. So God bless you, Miss Ramsey. And and um, uh huh. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, Lord. There's such a, um, yes, Lord. There's such a grace upon your life. Um, your zeal and your fire for God. I don't know why, why, um, you know what, what comes before me when I, when, when I start prophesying, just started was Stephen. You have Stephen in the Bible was, was moving in such power with God and he moved in such favor with God. And I see that same mantle upon your life. I don't know what you do for a living. I don't even know if you're in ministry, but I see that that same type of grace. You understand the mysteries of God very well. And um, I was, <laughs> yes, are you, Lord? God said that you are uh, uh, one of his um, um, elite daughters. I put like that, amen. And there is such a, a, a mantle upon your life. And you know what? And I'm gonna tell you as a prophet, um, sometimes your zeal irritates hell. <laughs> amen. And it should, amen. Because you are, you have a, a you, you have an anointing, like, I hear you, you have an anointing, um, there's a boldness about you. You don't mind sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to people, even where you're at. There's people around that you're encouraged by your voice, by your service, uh, by your acts of faith, your acts of love. There are people you encourage, and God says, tell the woman of God that even, I hear, honey, here it is again, that tell the woman of God that tonight, because she tuned in, I, I knew it was a heavy night. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you got something from Miss Beverly? Tell the woman of God that the the I'm in the spirit realm now. And what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing you uh, lay hands on the elderly. I'm seeing you lay hands on people. I see you praying the prayer of faith to get people whole. Um, there's a reason why you desire people to be made whole. Amen. And even on tonight, God says, tell the woman of God, the gifts of healings follows her ministry. Amen. You are going to be known for one. And here it is again. Um, I don't know if you um, know this, this uh, one of God's generals. Uh, what's her? Uh, Wood, Wood Edder? Mary Wood Edder? I can't remember her name. But I, I remember what she did, though. Amen. <laughs> um, she's one of God's generals. That's no longer here. But um, Miss Miss Beverly has the same type of anointing that that lady has. Matter of fact, that same mantle that Mary Wood. I can't. I, I know who it is. I can't remember her name. Mary Wood Edder. Somebody find it for me. Aaron uh, Faith. Um, God's generals. Mary Wood Edder. Woodworth Edder. Yeah, there we go. I know it's something. Amen. Um, you have the same type of, of, of grace upon your life um, that Mary Woodworth Edder had, who moved heavy in the things of God. Ain't my God in heaven. And God says that this is a season that he's opening up um, um, space and room for you because of your heart and because of your heart to serve and because of, uh, of, of what you what you endured. My God, that's what he said, what you endured for, for a very long time. But it was God He's going to use that and he used it as a training platform. And you are going to be known, my God, you're going to be known as the one who carries the glory of God. You know, the Bible said, you know, people say now there's um, glory carriers. Amen. That's my desire to heal. See that? So, see, I tell you, man, yes, God is talking. Amen. <laughs> um, there is uh, Mary Wood Edder, the same grace. I'm talking about, um, you will listen. The working of miracles will be normal for you. That means you have to work the miracle. You're going to see people that are going to have a leg missing, a toe missing, a finger missing, and the faith of God is going to rise up in you, and you're going to walk over there and lay hands on them, and the things are going to be restored. And I'm telling you, there's going to be fame going across that nation concerning you. And people are going to, and people are going to, some people are going to understand what's going on, but the devil's going to try to oppose you. But God says, fear not. My God, because even the, even your your service and your ministry, just like the, the my God, just like the people in the Book of Acts tried to buy the anointing, and even preaching and teaching and healing the sick until the witch believed. I'm telling you, there are people coming from the occult and say, "Who is this God you serve?" That's going to be a question for you, and you're going to show them um, through demonstration and through preaching and teaching that the God you serve. It's a God of heaven and of earth and who created all things and has more power than the devil. Amen. There are people who have been hexed and vexed and all the above. And you will know God has opened up your eyes, my God, wide 
the word of knowledge is going to be heavy upon your ministry. And the gifts of healing and the working of healings are following. And that thing is being open right now as I prophesy. That's going to follow you. And God's going to use you in that realm because God can trust you with the gifts. Amen. You won't squander it. You will do it for his glory. You do it for his kingdom. And you have even prayed. I'm, I'm, I'm going way back when you were a young lady. God said she's even prayed and asked. And God said the moment you prayed because your heart was right for it. God said yes and amen. My God in heaven. I'm telling you. The gifts of healings, the working of miracles, and able to discern what's in a person. Amen. So God, <laughs> God bless you, uh, Miss Beverly. I'm telling you, uh, be bold and be strong. You know, the 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 evangelists and and people like Stephen in the Bible, they were very bold because they knew who the God they served. And so men's opinion, men's gimmicks, and man's uh, whatever did not scare them. And God said, this Miss Beverly will move with the same boldness, as bold as a lion. I'm telling you, prepare yourself because you're going to encounter people that's going to try to challenge God in you. But you're going to say, not, you're not going to budge. And you're going to look at that devil and say, come out of him. Come out of her. And you're going to see people drop to the ground and start convulsing. And you're going to command that thing to leave. And it's going to bring great awe around people. Like, what the is going on? <laughs> It's the power of God in demonstration. Amen. I'm telling you, you have desired this and you have desired to see people made whole. My God. So God bless you, Ms. Beverly. Thank you for your kindness. We are looking forward to hearing about your testimonies. We're looking forward to hearing about how God uses you um, in the future. And we can't wait to hear about it. Amen. Because, you know, the, the reports you give and all that, I'm telling you, and don't let, listen, don't let religious people try to minimize your fire. Amen. Because the grace of God that's upon you um, is to bring faith to people that God still talks. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Um, God bless you richly. Amen. All right. Walk in that power. That's right, Mr. Ms. Kaufman. Walk in that power, Tracy. I mean, <laughs> hey, yeah, you too, Tracy. Miss Beverly. So God bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Um, there was a man of God on here. Uh, Luis, are you still there? Uh, whew, my God. Let me know if you're still there, Luis. Let's see. All right, back to Facebook. <laughs> All right, just a few more and we're gonna we're gonna roll. Um uh honey, can you take my phone and uh, or, uh, uh, what's one second, everybody? Ooh. Luis, oh, are you there, Luis? Amen, man. We waited for you. Yes, amen. There you go. I just thank you, my honey. I had to give my wife something. Um, I needed help with something. Amen. Thank God for a help. Help me, honey. Help me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So God bless you, uh, Louise. Louise, do you play any instruments? Here's just a question I ask. Amen. So, amen. Thank you all for sticking with us. I don't know. We, we, we're going two hours. We're still going. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Diana. Prophet Diana. Thank you so much. Amen. Yes. Creative miracle. Yes. Glory be to, to God. Amen. So you do. Amen. The Lord is talking. Amen. Um. You know, your, your service to the kingdom, Louise, um, um, and I say this, your service, yeah, I know, um, to the kingdom, um, and the reason why I asked, because I saw, uh, I saw King David playing a harp, and that's why I asked, so I knew there's something, of a connection to music uh, with you. Um, your service 
uh, to the kingdom um, refreshes people. Amen. And um, oh yeah, I know, I know your your service to the kingdom refreshes people. Amen. I don't know what you do for a living or or what um. I say this. Um, yeah, I know you're a dreamer. All the above. You too are one that 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 has an anointing to um gather people and, and to be a blessing to people. Amen. Yes, an open heaven. Yes, right, Isabella. An open heaven uh uh on tonight. Amen. And I see God getting ready to, to um to use you um in, in a fashion like um you know there's a sound gonna come out of you um that's gonna be refreshing the people amen and the sound yeah you have to look at the symbol the symbol up here the sound doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be um <laughs> playing an instrument the sound is and this is why you just wrote what you wrote um is the intercessions portion amen and when you um pray for people yeah i know uh usually the devil attacks people who don't um <laughs> he tried to to remove your favor hold on before you put too much out there i'm, I'm in the spirit um the sound that's going to come out of you is going to be a blessing to people amen because there's going to be such a shift in your life Amen. This is what God has shown me. Such a shift in your life. And what I'm saying here is, um, I know you don't have a job, um, but you have the creative power in your own mouth to create a job or to have a job given to you. Amen. We all do. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. So refreshing people, God's going to bring you to a space where um, your presence and your, your your character and things like that will refresh people. So guess what? A job is in route, amen? And that's that's just what I know as a, as a prophet before you even wrote that. A job is in route for you. Um, you have to put some faith to your action, amen? But like that, for lack, for lack of better terms. Um, keep on out there, keep getting out there and do what you have to do. But there is a space for you to refresh people through the sound coming out of you. You know how to pray and you know how to intercede. Amen. You know that. Um, but God's going to grace that mantle upon you even the more. Sometimes people opine, opine me, they, they guess that people have to have a, um, a suffering life to be an intercessor. But God says in the Bible that intercessors will always have the portion of the Lord. Amen. And so the devil fights intercessors to keep them distracted so they don't pray with strength, they don't pray with power, they don't pray believing. Amen. But if you um, will start, yes, expecting miracles, yeah, expect God to lift you up. And I see God doing that. You know, God took Ezekiel by the locks of his head. Amen. And it was the locks of his consecration. And you keep on consecrating yourself to God. God is pulling you up and he's going to take you high. Amen. And he, God knows you need resources. So God is saying for you tonight, you have the power. And let me give you the prophetic, the prophetic instruction. Um, in the next 72 hours, not only write the vision for your life, I'm talking about to every detail that you want God to do for you. I don't care if it's um, how small or how great. Don't limit God. Write it down. Amen. And at the end of you, you writing, you got 72 hours. Now, this, this, this is called a, a word of wisdom, or we call it a prophetic instruction. In 72 hours, you have 72 hours to write down what you want God to do. If you want to be used by God to, to pray for the sick in stadiums, if you want to be used by God in another nation, if you want God to give you the nations, if you want to travel the nations, if you want to travel the world preaching the gospel, write it down. Amen. And then at the end of you writing down your vision, and this for everybody, and at the end of writing down your vision, my God in heaven, and say, God, you told us in the word to write the vision, 
make it plain and to obey the prophets. And I believe the prophet said this. And so I wrote this down, obeying you and obeying the, the prophetic instruction I got. And watch God take that thing because it said in the word that he that reason the Lord runs with it to the future. Amen. For yet the vision is for an appointed time. So the desire in your heart to pray for people, to evangelize or to whatever needs to happen, those things have to be written. My God in heaven. And God takes you to the future. And now your faith gets involved because that's where your battle is right now, is your faith. You believe God, amen, but the devil has come against you to challenge you in your faith. Although you believe God, your faith now and what you're saying is on trial, amen? Mark eleven twenty three says, um, Jesus is giving them, he tells them the fig tree dried up. And he tells his disciples, have faith in God, my God in heaven. So if you say unto this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe those things that he says, they shall surely come to pass whatsoever he says. And if you do a ratio, he said, believe one time. But he says, saying three times. So God places premium on the saying over the believing. I believe that if I eat, if I got, I have my car keys over there. I believe that if I get in my car, with my car keys, it will start up. I believe that. But it does not do me any good until I go down my steps, go to my car, get in, press the pedal, press the start button, and then drive it. Now I'm in action. I believe it all day. I can stand outside my car and believe all day that this car works, but I don't do nothing about it. Through my words and my actions, nothing will come to pass. Amen. And that's how we redeem time. We have to get involved with God. Amen. And God is saying to you, man of God, to get involved with him because guess what? He's heard your prayers. You believe, but now it's time to move your faith. Amen. So God bless you, uh, Brother Juarez. Your faith is on trial, sir, because if you can if you can win that thing through how you speak, how you release your faith, how you talk, amen, even when it doesn't look like anything. You want to know something? I'm going to give you one of my many testimonies. My wife and I um, had desired, we believed God would give us another child, amen, or give us a child. Amen. Even in our older age, as we are waxing strong in life. Amen. We don't get old. Amen. We wax strong over here. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And for 16 attempts, we got a negative test. Amen. But my mind was saying, oh, just say it ain't going to work. Say this. Yes, the prophet. I had to go through stuff too. Amen. I'm not exempt. But I kept saying, I believe you, God, and I can't wait to meet my new child because this child is the child of promise who I'm going to pass my mantle to. Boy or girl, don't tell me even matter. And we're having a girl now, sir, in January. Amen. Because a certain on a certain day, that positive pregnancy test showed up because I released my faith. It was not the faith of my wife. Amen. I was on trial for the family because I'm the leader here. And I'm telling you as God's prophet that your faith is on trial because God wants to get something to you because you yourself, sir, had the vision of being in a stadium praying for people. And that takes faith to do it. Amen. So God bless you, my friend. <laughs> and may God richly bless you. Amen. Yes. Thank you so much, Ms. Diana. Yes. We're having a, a nice baby girl. Amen. I can't wait to meet her because she is a child of promise. Uh, I'm going to spoil her socks off. I know she's going to have hazel eyes like her father because uh, I have to pass on this mantle, uh, to, this eye mantle to her and prophetic mantle. I, I'm going to pass on all my sons and daughters, natural and spiritual. Amen. Because my job here is not to be served, but to serve. Amen. My job is to feed the 5,000, not the 5,000 feed me. My mentality is totally different. Jesus fed people. They ain't feed him. Amen. I'm just going to leave that there alone. Amen. I'm not going to take people's money and say, yes. What's wrong? You good? You good? Amen. You got something to say? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Louise. Yes, yeah, stay connected, sir. Uh, stay connected to the ministry um, because um, we are excited about your future. 
because God has a powerful plan for you, my God in heaven. I just want to also pronounce a blessing on my dear friend, uh, Mr. Richburg. Uh, Mr. Mr. I know your real name, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say Mr. Richburg. <laughs> Amen. I just want to pronounce a blessing upon him. Um, most people don't know that me and Mr. Richburg go back all the way to 2006. Uh, we both were um, in, in our same career field, and so we have a lot of history, a, a lot of a lot of friendship, a very tight friendship. One of my top three friends, Amen, uh, who I depend on. But I want to pronounce a blessing over you, sir, and your business because the heavens are open tonight. This is why I'm still going strong, Amen, because God has strengthened me to do this, Amen. There is a my God in heaven, yes, Lord. Um, prepare yourself, man of God. Uh, Mr. Richburg, because there are more contracts coming your way. I'm talking about, sir, and I know what you do for a living, but I'm telling you as God's prophet, I see you sitting in an office right now and you are signing contract upon contract upon contract because the wealth of my God in heaven, there is wealth attached to your name and you're going to give seminars on wealth building. You're going to give seminars on how to start businesses. You're going to be used by God to do a lot of great things for a lot of people because there is such a grace upon your life because you move by faith not by sight and God says because he moves by faith I'm going to keep on adding to what he needs amen and there is going to be I'm telling you not only are you going to have one business but I see six businesses coming out of you sir that you're not going to be the one doing all the work you're going to be of course directly at the top but that's going to be you're going to have people to do the work for you money is going to work while you're sleeping amen and money is going to grow around you while you're sleeping because God knows he can trust you with the millions so prepare yourself sir for multi-million, my God, millionaire status. I'm telling you as a, as a prophet and prepare yourself for expansion. There's another, there's two phone calls coming. One you're expecting and another one you're not. But there is two phone calls coming that's going to be a, an opportunity for expansion. And the spirit of the Lord will say to you, those calls, take them. Because those are going to be the catalyst to something grand and something greater upon your life. And that's going to be an extension of what you're already doing. You Listen, your days working for the, uh, as you work your, as you work your work, um, there's coming a day where you're going to get to retire early from one of your jobs. Amen. And you know what job I'm talking about. I'm not going to put your business out there. Amen. You get to retire early from that. Amen. And even receive a pension off that. Amen. While you keep on working the work. And it is going to be a blessing to not only you and your family, but your descendants behind you. My God, him, you have inspired something. This anointing was on your granddaddy. My God. And some people have missed it, but you have caught the mantle that he left in the earth. And that's that entrepreneurial mantle that you are catching right now. And you have already caught it. And now God said he's going to grace it even the more. I'm telling you, sir, that this next 12 months in business, even though the enemies try to attack you, in certain areas and try to discourage you the god says not so stay in faith my god and stay connected oh, of course you will i know we, we we tight friends amen and um most people don't know um about and oh, what was that maybe august of 20 20 um 2020 maybe we prophesied about what we what he's doing right now back in august 2020 amen and he and he can and he can validate that um, but sir, I'm telling you that you are going to move in levels of money that your family has not seen, but they're going to be able to um, uh, enjoy and, and not leech from you, my God in heaven. And God says, listen, you have such a heart for people, but he said, the, um, and um, he's giving you a grace to put people in position. Amen. A, 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 a deeper discernment. Yeah, 2020. Thank you, sir. Uh, to put people in, in position. And because sometimes it's not family that you got to put in place. Sometimes it's people you don't even know, but understand the business and, and how it works. Amen. So there is a, I'm telling you, man, there is a expansion coming for you. I'm, just, I'm, t- I'm in the spirit realm as far as I can go. And I'm in the future. There is expansion. There's expansion for your family. There's, there is a blessing upon your daughters. Man, I, and, I, and I see, oh my God, I see a grandson coming. No time soon, relax, sir. No time soon, hey, relax. But I see a grandson coming that actually looks like you. <laughs> That's going to be a blessing to your business. And he's going to take such an interest in grandpa. Uh, but, and you're going to know that um, as you have waxed strong through the years, that the mantle is to be passed. 
<laughs> amen. 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 God bless you, man. God bless you. I'm telling you, sir, um, I'm in there. My eye, God has opened my eyes all the way up. Amen. Yes, Isabella, receive that. Amen. Have your way as well. Amen. The Lord, yes, Carla, receive. I'm telling you, receive. If you are an entrepreneur tonight, you can receive the same prophetic word. There will be no calamity. God does not get glory out of calamity to teach you a lesson. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I'm telling you, there is a blessing upon your life, sir. My God in heaven. Woo! My God. My God. Amen. I will stand upon my watch and I will see what he has to say to me. Amen. <laughs> Prepare for expand, expansion um, in, in, your, in your fleets as, as well, sir. Prepare for expansion in your, in your fleet as well. Amen. More, 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 more. Around the right circles, more, more. You're going to be an investor too, my God in heaven. Not only are you going to own your stuff, but you're going to be investing in businesses and, and purchasing businesses and selling businesses. Businessman has been written over you for a long time. And, and that's, that thing is going to get stronger and stronger. Amen. So God bless you, man. I'm telling you, God bless you, brother. God bless you. There is, there is grace for you. There is grace for you. The heavens are open over your family. The heavens are open over you, Elijah. The heavens are open over you, Prophet Diana. I'm telling you, tonight is the night. God is coming in and has came in like a mighty rushing wind. And he is dropping gifts on tonight to people who can receive. I'm talking about gifts of healings, gifts of prosperity. I'm talking about financial gifts. There are gifts being dropped tonight from the heavens to the people that can receive. I'm telling you, those who can receive by faith. And I, I get it on that too. I'm saying those who have had things held up by paperwork. Things have been held up by processes. People have been moving slow with your stuff. I'm telling you, God has dropping down gifts. Those who are believing God for certain, certain things, there is uh, room for you at the cross. Those things have dropped down. I'm talking about fresh mantles dropping down tonight on those who can't receive. My God in heaven. Amen. Amen. God bless you. My God. Amen. Let me, let me, amen. That's right. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it, man. I'm telling you, whenever your prophetic word goes out, you can partake in that word, even though it wasn't directed to you. You can partake in that word as well. Amen. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So God bless you, um, everybody. And receive it by faith. I'm telling you, God is dropping down. I'm not making this stuff up. Um, neither am I trying to be impressive. I'm moving um, under the unction of the spirit. Amen. And God is doing what God does. Amen. So God bless you. Uh, Mr. Carter, God bless you as well. I know you're one of, one of my homies too. Amen. We talk uh, all the time, uh, but God bless you as well, sir. May God richly bless you, richly bless your family, uh, richly bless everything you put your hands to. And I, was, I see a major shift, Mr. Carter, coming upon your life um, and, and in a very good fashion. Amen. I see a lot of things. Um, um, your heart's desires, I hear you, Lord, your heart's desires will become a reality, Mr. Carter. Amen. Your heart's desires will become a reality, says the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you, you know what your heart desires are. And um, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that because, you know, I don't tell uh, people's personal businesses. That's my thing. Amen. But your heart's desires, full restoration, full accomplishment, full everything. Amen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading that book. Amen. I see that in the spirit. And I just recall this. My God, I'm looking forward to reading that book because it's going to be a top seller. Amen. Because there are men that need to know uh, success principles and God has ingrained those principles in your heart. You know how to put systems in place and the systems of success are in your heart and God wants to get those on paper because there is a generation that needs to read that you don't have to be 99 years old to be successful. You can be successful in your 20s, your 10s, your 5s, 
whatever you got left, amen, you can be successful, my God, in heaven, amen. And I just want to prophesy to Miss Christy Wells on tonight. God bless you, woman of God. May God richly bless you. And yes, God loves you. Uh, and you know that, amen. And you have such a gift upon your life, amen. You have such a gift upon your life. Um, you have the you have that that watchman type spirit, amen. You have a gift to see and to know, amen. You have a gift to see and to know, and you and the gift of prophecy is inside of you, amen. You just have to get a little bit of training in it, but that gift of prophecy is inside of you, and your words that you speak, as a matter of fact, you know this, the words that you speak come to pass. My God, I'm telling you, Miss Christy Wells, you have such a, um, you have such a um, discernment about your life. You have such a, the gift of prophecy is inside of you. You have, the, you, you know, <laughs> You just got to just say it. Amen. And I'm telling you, so God bless you, Miss Wells. I'm telling you, I don't know if you are in um, in business or not, but anything that you put your hand to shall prosper. Amen. February of 2023. God give me more months. I guess, I guess it's my thing. February of 2023 is going to be a month, Miss Christy Wells, of celebration for you. I'm talking about it's going to be like almost like a, a, a ribbon cutting ceremony. Amen. Spiritually speaking. Amen. And it's going to be such a, a, a month of celebration. I don't know what you believe in God for, but that thing, things, plural, is February. Um, it won't be dead on arrival. It'll be alive on, on arrival. Amen. So God bless you. And God's going to put you around people to help you cultivate that gift that's on the inside of you. Amen. You dream, you have visions. Um, matter of fact, um, you're very prophetic. I put it like that. Amen. You know, Chrissy Wells? Who's that? Oh, she's your friend and family. Okay. Well, God bless you, Miss Chrissy. I didn't know that. Yeah, God bless you. My wife said, You're a friend of family. Amen. So God bless you, but in February 2023, but again, you are a prophetic person. The Bible says that we all should have the uh, desire to prophesy, and you have that desire, but there's no language attached to it. So, you know, I'm sure there's books you read and all that, all about trying to understand, but um, you can prophesy um exhortation, edification, and comfort. Stay, work those lanes, amen? And, you, and it doesn't have to be anything super deep. You know, you can prophesy the word to people until you get um, more deeper in, 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 in this thing, amen? But the more you practice it, the more you cultivate the gift, the stronger it grows, amen? I'm telling you, God is gonna use you. Matter of fact, there's people um, even around you right now that just kind of, um, sometimes they're family, sometimes they're friends, Sometimes they're complete strangers, amen. And they come around you because they need a word of the Lord or some type of encouragement. And God's going to use you. Matter of fact, um, how you know God started using me when, when I first learned about this type of thing was whenever I got around somebody, my heart would beat really fast, amen. And so I knew God wanted to say something, and I would just I just opened my mouth and said what the first word came came to pass, amen. And it came out my it came into my spirit, and that's what God is doing for you, amen. He's gonna bring people around you to grow the the gift out because He needs you to prophesy to, for, and against certain things, amen. Because you have a voice with God, you have a very powerful voice with God, amen. Amen. God bless you, Miss Miss Christy Wells, amen. God bless you. And um, it's going to be a good year for you. Amen. We celebrate in February. Amen. <laughs> we are celebrating in February. Miss Chrissy Wells, I can't wait to see what we celebrate, but we celebrate in February. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you, um, Miss Wells. Amen. Let's see here. Yes. Yes, and Miss Miss Prophetess Diana, God bless you. Always so supportive. God bless you, and may more grace be your portion, ma'am. You do such a good job with the uh, ministry you have, and it's so inspiring how you train the people and and how you train them in the different aspects of prophetic dance. I think that's so fascinating, and I see God just expanding your reach 
even the more. Amen. As a more uh, expansion and more influence um, and God gracing your mantle more. Amen. Because you're such a teacher of the word. You're so consecrated to God. And just the mere fact that you're showing people through dance, it, you can speak prophetically. And I'm going to tell you what happens. And you know, there's a prophet. Um, when you are moving in your office and you're moving in your gift, people are, are, are receiving healing. They're watching you and they don't know what to say, but their heart is being warm. And they know God is loving them through the things that you're doing and displaying. And people say, man, how do I do that? And it's, I'm telling you, there's people going to be contacting you for, for more seminars and, and more, um, more, more, more teachings um, because you are sitting one, amen? And, and you are working your thing. I like it about you. You're working your thing, amen? You're not trying to be everybody else. You're not trying to be Miss Super Deliveries and Super Dance and Super Cartwheels. No, you're doing your thing. And that's you. one thing that I do. Amen. And you are doing that and you are showing people um, that you can move in power and God can use you in various levels and various ways. Amen. So God bless you, my God in heaven. And there is such a financial peace um, upon your life and that of your family. I don't know what your sons are believing for um, as far as like um, promotions or increase or assets, um, but the, the prayers and the service of the mother. Uh, access has been granted for them and blessings have been granted for them all the above amen so man i'm telling you man because of your service to the kingdom your children are benefiting from that so what are they believing god for tell them um that it has been granted by the lord i don't know what it may be um access just to make life oh you're so kind we honor you too amen <laughs> uh just to make life easier and more grand um that that is happening 20 22, 2023, God's going to show much love, much favor to you and your family, especially your boys, especially you as well. Amen. Much love and much favor. God loves, my God in heaven, loves that family. And, you know, those grandchildren make God smile. Um, they are, um, my God in heaven. There's one that looks like you that has uh, a, a, a grace upon his life. And I'll leave it at that, amen. And he has one that kind of favors you that has a, a, a very, a, has a grace upon his life, amen, <laughs> amen. So God bless you, man. I'm so excited about your ministry. I pray that even more open doors, my gosh, more open doors be granted unto you, more opportunities to showcase your gift be granted unto you. My God in heaven, because you have the gift of healings with your ministry. Amen. We know that. Amen. And prophecy and all those type of things. Um, more opportunities granted for you. Oh, my God in heaven. Amen. And you, and I'm saying that, but I'm also um I'm seeing you, but I see a fire connected to Miss Shanika Jackson on tonight. Miss Shanika Jackson, God bless you. Yes, access is also granted for you. My God, you've been such a, a, a um, supporter of this ministry and my wife and I. Um, access granted because the honor you show and the love you give, amen, by word and just promotion, um, the same grace that's upon my wife and I, amen, may access be given to you as well, amen. I'm talking about what doors fly open, grace uh, to go in to get the best deals. And that, that happens all the time, amen. Uh, grace for the future. Amen. And what, listen, you've been asking God, I hear you, Lord. He told me to tell you the thing you've been asking him about, granted in Jesus' name. Amen. That's all he said. <laughs> granted in Jesus' name. Amen. Access has been granted and your heart's desires has been granted. Amen. So God bless you. Uh, Miss Shanika Jackson. Um, where's she from, Texas? You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You read reading the book. Amen. Okay. Well, I'm glad. You, I hope you like it. Amen. That's our first our first one. We got another one coming out. Just it's been in production forever. <laughs> I need to modify it a little bit. Actually, we got like two or three coming out. Uh, but thank you so much for your kindness. Um, amen. So God bless you. Miss Jackson, may God richly bless you. Amen. May you never struggle. May you never want for anything. 
May you have sufficiency in all things. I'm the creators over you. And what they said you could not have. Um, what they said you could not have. We cancel those words in the spirit. And we make a decree that everything that you have said out of your mouth that pertains unto godliness, prosperity, increase, dream accomplishment, may it be granted unto you. Those death decrees that came years and years back, they are severed in the spirit. Amen. And we release upon you a, a open heaven continuous. No brass heaven shall be your testimony, but a continuous open heaven where whatever you say comes to pass. Amen. Because the words you speak are spirit and they are life. Amen. So God bless you, Miss Shanika Jackson. It is so. Yes, ma'am. I'm telling you, God took me back to when you were uh, a, a, a young lad. Amen. Young lady. Amen. And I'm telling you, as God's prophet, what they said about you, God says not to even worry about it because he is author and he is judge. Amen. Amen. And he that has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of redemption. Amen. So God bless you, ma'am. And may, may God use you powerfully in the future. May God use you. There is a people for you, Miss Jackson. There is a people for you. There is a group for you that need to hear your testimony. If you give your testimony tonight on the live, it will make people's mouth drop. Your testimony, God's going to turn power out of your pain. Amen. You have something to say. The devil thought that he had you. But God says, hey, he's a wheel in a wheel. Amen. The devil thought he's going to turn you one way, but God's going to turn you the right way. Amen. And can these dry bones live? My God in heaven, can they live? Speak to those dry bones. There is a powerful, even as I'm prophesying, I'll just stop now. Even as I'm prophesying to you, there is a powerful impartation come up upon you on tonight. You have desire to move um, in the spirit a lot uh, thicker, should I say? I believe it like that. You have desired God uh, to be used by God in a, a lot more, um, a lot more, use a lot more and put like that. And God says, tell woman, the woman of God that her request is granted. Amen. Because you have a desire for it. Amen. You have a desire to move in the things of God. You have a desire to move in the gifts of God. You have, you can, you can operate, and this has been your prayer. You can operate in all the gifts of the Spirit. I know they told us that there were nine, but there's actually more than nine. Amen. There's some in Romans and there's some in Corinthians. If you add those two together, you get more than nine. Amen. And maybe one day I'll teach on that. Um, but that's not tonight because it takes me a while. Amen. Moving all the gifts. Amen. Anna, we pray for you in the name of Jesus that your situation will turn to your favor, Anna. And we decree and declare over your life that long life shall satisfy you. And any report that you got that was negative and from the pit of hell, we cancel it in Jesus' name. You, the Lord told us that those who call upon the elders of the church and the prayer of faith will make them whole. So we decree of your life, every area of your life is whole, including your family, including your well-being, including your mind. And may God richly bless you and may you have tangible results now. In Jesus' name, may the heavens be open. We cancel the brass heaven, but we open up the heaven upon your life, Anna, in the name of Jesus. And just like Anna in the Bible was favored by God, that same favor that was upon Anna is upon you, Anna, in the name of Jesus. So we bless you and we bless everything you have, your pertains unto you and anything that you put your hands to, it shall prosper and it shall not faint. You will go forth and you shall not fail. You will go and you will conquer and you will be a victorious woman in the things of God. And may impartation of healing be upon your life now in the name of Jesus. And every resource that you need, every resource that you need, my God in heaven, 
tangible. Every resource you need may it be granted to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Things are well with you, Anna. Don't you worry. Things are well, not will be. Things are well with you. Prepare yourself for a supernatural change to hit your life for the better. Amen. Just like it said in Jeremiah 1 5, God says he knew you before he formed you and he ordained you. My God in heaven, God's going to get glory out of your life, ma'am. So God be praised. Yes, God be praised to you, Miss Anna. Amen. Open heavens over the line tonight. Whatever you need from God, just ask him and just receive it by faith. Amen. Whatever you need, I'm telling you, whatever you need, there will be good news to everybody upon this line on tonight on YouTube and Facebook. Good news shall be your portion. I'm telling you, hey, Tam, I'm telling you that good news will be your portion. Just like the angel of God brought good news to the woman of God, Mary, hell to all of us. Good news will arrive. Some will be tomorrow, some will be Saturday, some will be next week, but there's going to be good news. The month of September, I decree this over the whole life, the month of September will be supernatural elevation to everybody on the live tonight. Supernatural elevation to everybody. It's the ninth month, the month after grace, the ninth month. It shall be supernatural elevation to you and yours. Amen supernatural. I'm talking about if you're in business, prepare yourself for more contracts. If you are in ministry, prepare yourself for more uh, members. Prepare yourself for more influence. Prepare yourself for more engagements. It's going to be, I'm talking about rocket style elevation, not be going slow. I'm talking about swift, fast, and in a hurry. I decree that over your lives that the month of September will be supernatural elevation with God's blessing and no sorrow. In Jesus' name, my God in heaven. I just felt it hit me like a rushing wind. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. And Miss Tam, your seed, my God in heaven. Thank you, Lord. You put a seed into our ministry. That has triggered something. And this is for you too, Aaron uh, Becray. You put a seed into our ministry. And what you what you did was you triggered something that's on me and my wife. You will it will flow down. It'll, it'll flow to you. Amen. My God, I'm telling you, it will flow to you. And Aaron, the same thing. You sowed a seed into our life, and I'm telling you, sir, you just secured five years of superior prosperity upon your family. I'm telling you, what you did, Aaron, was you secured. Five years of superior prosperity. And the same thing goes for you, Tam. You secured superior prosperity upon your home and upon your life. I'm telling you, prepare yourself. The word of the Lord already came to your husband. Amen. All he got to go do, all he has to do is go do it. You tell him that God is waiting on him and he's not to wait for God. God is waiting on him to move. My God in heaven, I'm telling you as a God's prophet, not your brother-in-law, I'm telling you as God's prophet, he needs to move because the window of grace is starting to close. He got, he, God is waiting on him. Amen. I'll leave it at that. Amen. But Tam, your seed has triggered something. I'm telling you, listen, listen, folks. I don't advocate for money. I don't need to because me and my wife, we're givers. Money always comes to us, amen? So we give money away. We do things with it. You know how money is attracted to givers, amen? My God, but when people sow into our life, they sow into our ministry, it triggers something. You're not sowing to something dead. You're sowing to something alive. I'm telling you what I know as God's prophet. And you know what? Um, mm, Jacob told his son, to go get some venison that he likes. <laughs> God likes, you, you want to stay supernaturally connected to somebody? Give. Amen. I, I, don't, you know, I, I need to teach a thing because you can't, you can't do what we do. I got a whole testimony about all types of things. Amen. Because of giving. I can't stress it enough. 
Hey, listen, we're givers. We're going to stay givers. We all going to be givers. And ain't nobody going to outgive us. Amen. Because you can't outgive God. My God in heaven. God is not unfaithful. My God. Anyway, let me keep. Yes, just be, I just be obedient. That's right. That's right. That's right, Tam. Be obedient. Hearken to the voice of God because you triggered something. My God in heaven. Amen. Yes. Amen. God, God bless you. That was somebody else on here. Um, let's see here. Yes, Miss. Uh, hi, uh, Nikki. God bless you as well. Prepare yourself for a massive year of favor on your job, a massive year of favor just around you. I'm telling you, this is, you know, this is, um, how can I say this? It's just, your life is just going to be so good. Amen. This is for your sister. So good. Because what people don't know is that the years or the times, should I say, the times that um, that tears roll down your face and you thought no one knew about it. God says, he going, oh my God in heaven, there is going to be such a permanent smile upon your face like it is now. God's going to keep shocking you and shocking you. And you're going to be like, what did I do to deserve this? And it's already starting to trigger in your boys. Doors opening, triggering in the business. Doors opening. I'm talking about, it's just going to be like, what, what did I, God honors um, um, grace. Amen. I'm putting it like that. Amen. You know what I'm talking about, sis. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. You know, my, my family has, has a, uh, yeah, he, he has, um, my family has access to me anytime they want. Amen. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Miss Anna. Yeah, I didn't want to put the business out there, but that's why we were praying that everything pertaining to you is well. Amen. Because God showed me the tension. Amen. I didn't, I don't put people's business out there. The proper job not to embarrass you or to put your personal business out there. Amen. Whoo. Amen. Oh, wow, Kevin. Kevin E. Yeah, man. And you, sir. You, sir, are a, a giver. And since you always give, Kevin, uh, you're always going to have. Amen. God says you will have a continuous supply. Always. Because you have a revelation of how money works. <laughs> Amen. So God bless you, uh, uh, Kevin E. on YouTube. You have a revelation on how money works. I'm telling you, man. My God. My God. We just decree even more increase over you. Amen. More increase over you. And more opportunities to be a blessing to people. Amen. So God bless you, Kevin E. on, on YouTube. Yes, my sister. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God is so kind. Amen. Ooh, okay. Uh, thank you. Permanent smile. Yes, it's my sister. I'm telling you, Miss Gordine, how you doing, Miss Gordine? God bless you. All right. Going through. Uh, uh, let's see here. I was standing upon my watch and I will see uh, Elder Noel, Pastor Noel. Are you still on here? I will see what he has to say uh, to me. Amen. I will stand upon my watch and I will see. There's a reason why I say that, family. And maybe one day we'll, we'll dig in the watch. So I will say that. And I will see what he has to say to me. Amen. Uh, Elder Noella, if you are on here, let me know, ma'am. God bless you. But let me go to YouTube over here. Amen. Amen. Ooh, God bless you, Gabriel De La Paz. God bless you, my friend. May God richly bless you as well, man. May a supernatural blessing be upon you and your family. Amen. Uh, can one give OFG? Um, I'm sorry, Ms. Ramsey. I can't make out your question. Um, can one give? Uh, I don't know. What that, um, may, might be a typo. Um, I'll wait. Yes. Amen. Yes. Nikki. Amen. God bless you. Can we? Uh, yes, Miss Ramsey. One can give to a wrong place. You can give into uh, some people can give into like um, unfruitful ground. And sometimes there is a, a time of giving. You know, most time people don't receive anything because 
they don't give, they don't give during a, a, a time of giving, amen. So this is why they never have a, a, a harvest. You know, when we have like, like, like tonight, the, the heavens are open and this is a, a rich atmosphere to sow into, amen. And those who caught the revelation will do it, amen. Um, and that's how you expedite prophetic words in the spirit because I got to teach, I have, you know what, maybe um, in the next few weeks I'll, I'll teach on how giving triggers something, amen. That's how we were trained, amen. And even uh, we got some more revelation when we were overseas about giving. Uh, yes, oh, amen, um, uh, Prophet Diana, amen. We received that, yes, we are, we are building a multicultural, yes, you in the spirit, because that is our heart's desires to build a multicultural uh, church, a place for all people to come. Amen. And yes, and um, Mr. Gabriel, um, there is promotion with your name written all over, sir. My God in heaven. By mere fact of being on here tonight and being so honorable, may the honor that rests upon my life, may you have the same honor upon your life. Amen. And I'm talking about when I say that, I mean uh, doors opening, uh, favors accomplished, things like that. Amen. God bless you, sir. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. Amen. Uh, yes. Uh, um, yes. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Pastor Noella, God bless you. You know, you are, are one of our favorites. Amen. So God bless you. You are connected. And there is such a grace and a change uh, coming to you for the better. Amen. Keep on doing what you're doing. Amen. Especially in the realm of getting your uh, establishing, expanding your own thing, because that's your portion. Amen. Because God has put that thing in your heart. You have done the paperwork. You've got the thing going. Keep on going. Now it's time to expand. I'm talking to a facility. Uh, um, Keep believing God and keep acting in faith. Amen. And we can talk more about, about other things that you email about. Amen. You have my phone number. Um, we, 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 we can talk more. Just let me, um, uh, i tell you what, I'll carve out some time. Hit, hit me on, uh, shoot me a text and let me know um, what your schedule is. Maybe Saturday, um, Saturday morning or something. Okay. So we can talk. Amen. Because there is, there is a word from you, but I, 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 really, I really talk your word out because it's going to be long. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. But I know one thing for you, though, man. Uh, shift is in the atmosphere. Amen. You too, Mr. Eugene, Julie Eugene. Shift is in the atmosphere for you. God's goodness upon your life. Amen. We already know that we already know the devil tried to attack you, but you're still here. Amen. Long life shall he satisfy you and show you his salvation. Prepare yourself, Miss Eugene. My God in heaven, prepare yourself. Um, prepare yourself. I know the month of December is a is a time of Christmas and celebration, but God, there is there is a level of honor coming to you in December of this year, and God not only is going to celebrate you, but He's going to honor you uh, in many ways. Amen. There is such a um, a a recompense. Co- for you. There's such a recompense for you. My God. God tell the woman of God he loves her. Amen. God loves you is in love with you. Amen. Um, honey, can you check the um the text messages and see if something's sitting outside? Okay. Thank you, Amen. Amen. So God bless you, Miss uh, Miss Eugene. I'm telling you. And we just decree over you um, that even even now that um, the blessing of the Lord will just keep on uh, compounding your way. Amen. So God bless you. Keep compounding your way. And that which the devil has stolen, may it be returned to you sevenfold with interest. Amen. Yes. Yeah. I, I see you, Miss Ramsey. Amen. I see your I see your note here. Yeah. Um wait, wait. yeah, I, I see you. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, shoot us an email, Ms. Ramsey, uh, so we can have some dialogue um, about about that. Amen. Yeah, so we can we can have and I'll um have my uh, we'll 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 and we'll, we'll talk. Amen. Because that was that's that's a question that a lot of people have is they give and give and give and nothing happens. Um, but we'll we'll break it down. Maybe maybe one of these Thursday night I'll um. um Talk about um, the power of giving and all that, but that's how you stay uh, spiritually connected to someone. That's how you love on somebody. You love on you know the gift that's before you. You love by what they like. Amen. He told Jacob, told his son, "Go give me some venison, which I like." Amen. So there's certain things that the prophet likes. My wife likes. I know she likes certain things. I know you you like certain certain things. Your venison may not be the dollar signs. Your 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 venison might be uh, purses or, or shoes or whatever. Go give me the venison I like, amen. And it's, it's okay to like money. My God in heaven, it's when money has you, it becomes a mammon and you worship it, amen. But when you are a giver and when you give and money don't have power over you, but you have power over money, and then now you don't you don't have the rich young ruler spirit, amen. And the Lord knew that money had him and said, listen. You want to be like me? Go sell all you have and give an offering. And the Bible says he went away sad because money had power over him. Amen. Yeah, help me. I don't, I don't kids get it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Amen. And I'll, I'll teach on that in more depth um, one of these Thursday nights because it's such a it's such a um, a a complex subject yet simple. Amen. Um, my, like I said before, my wife and I gave the biggest seed. It's about a few weeks ago that I've ever given to anybody. Amen. And I ain't, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about the biggest seed. I'll leave it at that. Um, but money, money don't have power with me. Amen. It's the other way around. And this is why promotions come fast to me, increase, unexpected blessing, all the above. Amen. Because we were, we were trained this way. We were taught this way. Amen. I remember our old apostle, um, Nate Hogan, used to always say, uh, give where you want to go. Amen. If you want, if you want to live in the blessed state, and, and live in the financial freedom state, you have to be free from money. Amen. And yes, all of the above. Okay, family. I think I've hit everybody up. I think I have. Amen. We've been prophesying um, for three hours. I don't think three hours. Let me let me get off here. We are going to be live on Sunday. We got a powerful word coming this Sunday. Um, I know some of you have other churches that you eat from. And that's fine. That's all good. Amen. Um, but Sunday we'll be back live and we are going to be um, talking about um, 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 we're going to be talking about I don't know yet. I'm going to see, how, I'm gonna see how, how God how God leads me. Amen. But it's going to be powerful. Amen. It's going to be powerful. Amen. Yes, bless you, Teresa. Bless you, um, everybody. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, Mr. Wise, we just pronounce a blessing upon your life. Amen. And um, tune in to us Sunday. I don't know what you do Sunday. Uh, uh, tune in to us Sunday, and um, we'll um, we'll we'll make sure that we release the word of the Lord over your life and family as well. Amen. But we do pronounce a blessing over you. Uh, whatever your heart desires, may God give it to you. Amen. Whatever trick the devil has tried to set a trap for you, may God curse and cancel it. And may God open his heaven upon you because guess what, Mr. Wise, uh, God loves you. Amen. Amen. All right. All right, class, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We so appreciate it. We so love you. Thank you, YouTube family. Thank you, um, Facebook family. So kind. Again, those who are in a local area here in Northern Virginia, Leesburg, Ashburn, Fairfax, uh, in this area, amen. We are, we are opening our doors in person here in Ashburn, Virginia on the 25th of September. My wife will be posting a flyer tomorrow uh, for people who want to be involved with our launch team and things of that nature that'll be coming out tomorrow morning. Um, pray, seek God, and um, I'm sure you already, you already know your answer, amen. 
Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Noella. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you all for the kind words on YouTube. God bless you too, uh, Miss Nikki. And God bless you and your family as well. Uh, thank you all. We'll be back on Sunday, okay? Uh, and we'll 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 move heavy in the spirit. It'll be a, a good time in God, and we're gonna. Oh, amen. God bless. You. Yes, come on. Yes, we'll take. Yes, ma'am. Come. Thank you so much, uh, Prophet Diana. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Amen. Have a blessed night, everyone. Yes. 25. Yes. You're welcome. All the way in Jamaica. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, amen, Ms. Ramsey. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> so kind. Yes. We are, we're here to serve God's people. Amen. Not about us, but all about him. I always say Jesus fed the 5,000. The 5,000 didn't feed him. Amen. Amen. So God bless you, everyone. Have a powerful night, and we shall see you Sunday, okay? And we'll be back next Thursday, and we're going to be we're gonna be going deep in the spirit then. Amen. All right. God bless you. Take care, everyone. Bye.